Hey everybody, this is Blazing Wing, and we're kicking off 2022 with something brand new. This is Blazing Wing Plays, a Dorkhaven Gaming Plus episodic series. Basically, what I've decided to do is take my favorite games that are maybe a little too long to be busting out on a weekly basis for Game Clear, and just throw up a new episode every single day. I'm going to go ahead and name our character Dork here. Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. I'll get more into that in a moment. I'm a multitasker, what can I say? Anyways, let's just kick things off. Eventually, when this game is completed, it will go into the Game Clear series as one giant video. But, I haven't been posting stuff for the last month or so. It's been very rough for me. And I decided I wanted to start posting every single day. And doing a 20 to 30 minute video every single day is going to be a lot easier for me than trying to clear a brand new video game, even like once a week. Like some of the shorter ones I did early on, like the Power Ranger games for example, yeah I can bust one of those out in the evening, but Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which admittedly was an older Dorkhaven video, but I still completed the game on the channel so I wanted to add it along with a couple of others. Anyways, that is like a 10 hour game. <laughs> And there are others that are going to be even longer. Like, I want to do at least a Pokemon game at some point. And those are much longer to do. Uh, and not really something I could just bust out in an afternoon and burn through. So, I thought this was a nice kind of midpoint where I can kind of post videos every day. But still do some of the series that I've been wanting to do. You know? Uh, if you can't tell, I do not write any of this down ahead of time. I have no scripts. <laughs> Maybe I should work on that. Anyways, um, I've been talking with... I could moonwalk, sleepwalk through... Uh, sleepwalk moonwalking, that's, that's, that's creativity right there. And probably a little dangerous. I'll turn on that uh, lamp just because, why not? I've got the lantern, might as well use it. Uh, basically, yeah. I have played the intro of this game so many times, I can do it without even really paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, ha! Take that. <laughs> so, yes, basically, Link is woken up because he and, I assume, his uncle hear the voice of a mysterious maiden who is trapped in the basement of Hyrule Castle. The uncle goes after her, you go after the uncle, the uncle dies, question mark, <laughs> and it's just like, well, I guess this is on you now, so, and with that begins one of the greatest adventures of all time. Take that. So yeah, Th this all is fairly basic early on, you know, you go left or right in that one corridor, uh, the main castle corridor, and it'll take you to the same place. Get a key, get the map. Use the key, make my way through the door. I like to wait on these guys and then hit them. Yeah, just like that, knock them in the pit. That's one of my favorite things I used to like as a kid. Ooh, can I make three for three? Yes, take that. Uh, this one I'm just going to fight. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I had this great idea. I was going to sneak up and do the spin attack on him. And he's just like, nah, I ain't about that. So... I just had to fight him normally. And what are you going to do? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I could have gone through that bottom section and we bobbed and weaved my way through the guards. Instead, I just decided to take the uh, the terrace, I suppose, uh, the skyway. <laughs> what castle basement uh, is complete without its own skyway built into it? Alright, got my boomerang. Go ahead and switch to that, stun this guy with it, and I right, kind of screwed that up a little bit, but he's dead, that's all that matters. Got the key, you can move on. 
Now, of course, if you're watching this video in the future as a game clear, and you're wondering why is he talking about making this an episodic thing, obviously the episodic version of this playthrough will still be available on the channel. Uh, but if you're choosing to watch this as a game clear later on down the line, welcome! <laughs> you, you could have already seen how this game ended. Alright, this dude, my strategy is I am a pot fiend. There we go. Only needed two to defeat him. Much easier to do that than it is to actually try fighting him because he swings that ball like a mother. <laughs> Thank you, dork. <laughs> dork, listen carefully. <laughs> Uh, I amuse myself too much. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Alright, she knows a secret path, but we have to get back up to the throne room in order to use it. So, Princess Zelda is by my side, and it's time to make our daring escape from Hyrule Castle. But first, I have to go back the way I came. And of course, basically everything is already dead, except these guys. I'm just going to go ahead and take the Skyway and ignore them again. Because, eh, ain't nobody got time for that. Alright. Ha! Didn't even need to use my sword on that one. I boomeranged him down the pit. Look at that. Let's ignore purple dude entirely. I think they're actually supposed to be blue, but I've always thought of them as purple. So, I'm going to call them purple. Because <laughs> I think they're kind of like rupees, green, blue, and red. Like, there are red ones I'll encounter later that are like the harder ones to kill. Uh, but we're not going to be seeing them for a bit. So, secret passage in the throne room that leads to the sanctuary. I should probably go a little slower on those boxes so I can read them when they come up, but eh. <laughs> I, I, I know the gist of it, so I can basically... Uh, ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch black, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I have a lantern. Um, I've never actually tried to do this without grabbing the lantern first. I don't know if there's anything that like tells you, hey, you, know, you can't do this without a lantern, or if they're just like, well, you know better than us, I guess. You're on your own. Let me switch to the lantern. Make it a little easier to see what I'm doing in here. Kill the rat. Loot the pot. Make my way downstairs. Oh, yeah. These things are kind of a pain in the butt because they will randomly charge and go faster. And You think you got the rhythm to ah, see? You think you get the rhythm down and all of a sudden one of them just randomly decides, eh, I'm going to charge your butt. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think one of the bats has a key. Oh, there was a treasure chest over there, though. I'm going to check over here first. Ah, I'll light them, make it a little easier. Maybe the treasure chest has the key. Ah, yep, yeah, there it is. I knew there was a key. I swore there was a bat that has a key. Maybe that's later. It has been a bit since I played this. Alright, after passing through the series, uh, sewers, sorry, we will be very close to Sanctuary. Look at that state-of-the-art water animation from 1991. The NES wishes it could have water that good. Ah, okay, that was a rat that had a key. That could have been what I was thinking of before. I knew there was a monster at some point in the sewers that had a key, so... Alright, go ahead and kill all those. There's a bombable wall there that I will want to come back to later. I don't remember if it has a piece of heart or just rubies, but, you know, I'll try to remember to go back at some point. I'm going to try to find some of the hidden stuff, but I'm not going to go for like 100% or anything. But, like, I'll try to be a little bit more exploratory when I'm playing this, just so, uh, you know, for the viewers watching, well, A, they get more content, and B, you know, they can kind of, you know, if I come across some, ooh, red, awesome, uh, they can, if I come across something that they didn't know about, they can be like, oh, sweet, I learned something watching this. All right, pull the switch. One of the switches makes a bunch of snakes come out. It is this one. I like fighting the snakes because they can drop rupees. 
And I'm going to be needing to buy some stuff very shortly here, so... There's enough stuff in the village, uh, in Kakariko Village, that I will not have an issue with rupees, but there are also other things like the flippers I need to buy later that I will need a sizable amount of rupees for, and like those are required for progression. So, but I'm gonna get a bottle and stuff here because you can never have enough, especially as you get further in the game, it never hurts to have as many fairies to bring you back to life if you accidentally die, then uh, it's better to have them than not. Alright, maybe just this, uh, the pastor, priest, or whatever, is gonna protect Zelda here in the sanctuary. I'm just gonna leave that sewer door open, I guess. Whatever. I'm not, I'm not pastor dude. Uh, whatever floats his boat. Uh, I did get my first heart container for completing that, so... Alright, trying to fight this dude and doesn't want to line up. There we go. <laughs> Stunned him in the back of the head with the boomerang. I, there was no reason for me to stop and do any of that, but I figure, eh, why not? Alright, let's start. Uh, I'll head in here first. This is supposed to be uh, the Elder Sahasrahala's... Sahasrala? The Elder's house. <laughs> uh, this is, I think, his wife or something. Uh, I always thought she kind of looked like Winnie the Pooh in a wig when I was younger. <laughs> Uh, basically, she's saying, yeah, Sahasrala has gone. I don't know where he went. Maybe somebody in town knows where he went. So, uh, there's a little kid in town that will tell me his exact location. He's over by the Eastern Palace, which is the first dungeon in the game. I already know that. I'll probably talk to the kid anyways. Alright, uh, first things first. There's a well over here. They jump into. We'll get some bombs. I think my first heart container, or uh, heart piece, rather. And yeah, there's the bombs, and then a bunch of rupees. I need to get at least a hundred here early on so I can get uh, the bottle. But yeah, like each one of these has a 20 in it, and then more from the pots and inside the cave. So, like I said, I'm not going to be hurting for money, but I will need a lot more later, so every little bit I get helps. And yep, there's the first piece of heart. I'm going to try to have five hearts before I enter the Eastern Palace. I know of a couple that are easy to get to that I think should be fairly doable. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and I have over a hundred rupees. Go ahead and buy the bottle. So this is bottle number one. Good job, buddy. Uh, the second bottle is here in town. I'll see if I can get it before I leave. I think I can. Uh, the third bottle is under a bridge, uh, elsewhere in Hyrule and requires a, uh, the flippers to get to it. Alright. Ah, uh, shoot. Alright. I always forget exactly which way, I might have already screwed this up. <laughs> I always forget which one I'm supposed to start with. Uh, no. Don't push that one down, because then that treasure chest will be blocked off. I think I can save this. Hang on. Aha! There we go. Yeah, there is very, obviously, yeah, I was going to say it's very easy to screw that up and not be able to get them all in one shot, but obviously I could have just exited and come back in and it would have reset everything. But it's still nice to get it in one. Alright, there's the second heart piece. Yeah, and there's a third one. There's a little race. Uh, at the south of town that is super easy and I'm pretty sure won't be any issues in doing it uh, at this point. I'm pretty sure you can do it early. So that'll be three and then yeah yeah I know where there's a fourth one so. Uh, trying to remember if I can get the bug catching net yet or if I have to wait for that. A couple of le uh, bushes because I can. Here's bug catching net. You got sick off of air from the mountain. Yeah, blah blah blah. Ah, yep, there we go. Alright, so yeah. So, in some games, you can use the bottles. And I'm going to steal all of his medicine, I'm assuming. 
and then leave. Sorry, kid, you're on your own. Um, so there are... Oh, yeah, sweet. This is where the, the second bottle is. Awesome. Yeah. And there's actually, in the first palace, there is a hidden cache of fairies that you can find. Here's the little kid that tells you where Sahasrala is. He will put a little marker on the map. Uh, oh, this is just a shop. I don't really need anything. I briefly thought about if I wanted to buy some more bombs, but I think I'm good. I have one which I need to get the third heart piece. And so as long as I don't screw up and accidentally use it on the wrong thing, I think we'll be good. Alright, here's the library. Remember that. I will be coming back there for access to the second dungeon. But I need an item from the first dungeon in order to get that. Well, technically it's after you beat the first dungeon. You get it from Sahasrala, the Pegasus Boots. Oh, as I was saying about the bottles. So in some Zelda games, you can just swing the bottle as an item... And, ha, he's a bully. Hey, dork, did you come from my brother's room? <laughs> um, oh yeah, so here's the race. I have to beat it in 15 seconds. It's super simple. Just, yeah, make my way over through, find a little jumpy spot. And, honestly, the hardest part of this is to not accidentally jump off the cliff. Yeah, exactly. And be very careful. There we go. There's the third heart piece. Yeah, because I have done that before. I've accidentally pushed down too far, jumped off the cliff, and then you have to do it over again. It's just more of a hassle than anything. It Obviously, it took like eight seconds for me to clear that, so... Uh, let's go in here. Eh, sure, let's, let's play. 20 rupees, let's see if I can get the big prize. 20 rupees, alright, cool, I broke even. <laughs> ah, let's do one more. Alright, I broke even again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why not? I'd like to go until I get the, the, the little jack. I think jackpot is 100. And, oh, no, I was going to say, or you can get one ruby. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that I lost money, I'm done. Just like real gambling. First time I went to a casino, the day I turned 21, my parents took me. And uh, I had, like, 150 bucks. Where it's like, yep, this is my money I'm going to use to gamble. And I put 20 bucks in the machine. I pulled the lever. Nothing came up. I said, well, now what? And my dad said, well, that's it. The money's gone. You didn't win. And I just kind of thought about it for a second. And I'm like, I don't think I like gambling. I, I think I can I just save the rest of the money I have and go buy like a video game or something? And my parents were like, yeah, sure, absolutely. And my parents were all proud of themselves because they were like, yeah, we taught our son that gambling is stupid. And I'm like, yeah, but what if I would have gotten the jackpot? Like, <laughs> uh, my, my parents were the type of, ah, good lord, ah, die already. I should have just ignored these guys. Eh, after a certain point, it becomes personal. Alright, now I have arrows for a bow I do not have. I will have soon. Uh, but, yeah, there's a heart piece here. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to get my fifth heart before I move on. Anyways, my parents, as I was saying, um, oh, I think this is just bombs, but I'll go ahead and grab it. Yeah, because actually I will need a few bombs for when I get to Sahasrala's... Uh, so yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it. When I get to Old Dude's Hut, there's a bombable wall. Uh, yeah, anyways, as I was saying about my parents, as I've tried to continue the story for like three times now, basically, they took any chance they could get to consider anything a win on parenting. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my childhood. Uh, and there's my fourth heart piece. Go ahead and claim it. And there's my fifth heart container. Awesome. All right. There is other stuff to get, like there's the ice rod over here. Actually, I don't know if I can get the ice rod yet. Oh, well, let's go see. I mean, I'm already here. It'll save a trip for later, because I will need the ice rod eventually. And I have actually forgotten to go get it before, because you basically have to go out of your way, as you can see, to get it. No, Nothing else really takes you to this area, other than maybe getting to the sixth Dark World Dungeon, which is basically in the middle of the equivalent of the lake in the Dark World, which is a mirror version of the Light World. We'll get to that uh, fairly soon. I have to beat the main three 
uh, well, technically four, because after, after I beat the first three dungeons and get the three pendants and get the Master Sword, then I have to go back to Hyrule Castle and do, like, the upper floors. And that's basically its own dungeon. And then after that, then I go to the Dark World. Alright, well, looks like I'll be able to just go ahead and claim it. Yeah, awesome. Very cool. Ha! No pun intended. <laughs> All right, well, that'll save a little bit of time for later, then. Because uh, one of the bosses in... Oh, man. Um, Turtle Rock. I was trying to think of the name of it. Uh, the seventh dungeon in the Dark World. The last one you do before Ganon's Tower and basically finish the game. Uh, the final boss of that is a giant, like, turtle dragon thing that has a red head that shoots fire and a blue head that shoots ice. And you basically need, as far as I know, you need the fire rod and the ice rod to beat it. Or at least it makes it go faster, maybe? I don't know if you need it necessarily. Uh, I just skipped that one cave there, because all that's in there is just a fairy that heals me, and my health is fine right now, so. There's another fairy that will heal me before I actually reach the Eastern Palace, so I will just, ah, you jerk. So I will just use that one. Yeah, I'm just, okay, now it's personal. I was just about to say, yeah, now I'm ignoring these guys, and then that dude shot me again, and I'm like, okay, screw it. <laughs> Peace was never an option. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm just going to skip these guys. Oh no, how can you ever combat my pro strategy of stepping slightly to the left? Ah, you jerk. That's ah, fine. The fairy's right here, so... I, I, I will take the hit. Alright, got that. And let's head over to Sahasrala. Making my way through the little maze here that I'm very good at uh, making my way through after all these years of playing this game. What's up, dude? He's just like, hey, you should go to the Eastern Palace. And you're like, I know all of this. <laughs> he says, hey, I will tell you more if you go get the pendant from the Eastern Palace. Which, yep, that's what I came here to do. And I suppose also technically find him, but... I open that. And more bombs. Awesome. And I think some rupees. Yep, there's 50 and 50. All right, yeah. Awesome. I am I am booking my way towards getting those flippers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you really need to drop money into besides the flippers. I, I can't think of any. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. I just got done saying that I know my way around this thing and immediately take a wrong turn. I am a dirty liar. <laughs> uh, I took the hit. I could have fought him, but I had the other one chasing me, and it was like, eh. Alright. Uh, kill this dude, and here we are. Welcome to dungeon number one, the Eastern Palace. Alright. This one does not take very long. It's basically baby's first Zelda palace. Oh, this thing used to scare the crap out of me as a kid. I hated doing that gauntlet. Now it's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> it's the worst it's going to do. A heart of damage. <laughs> but occasionally there's like a big ball that comes through. I'm waiting to see if it pops up while we're it's in view. Eh, whatever. The point is, there's a big ball that occasionally comes up that you can't avoid. Unless you go into the little side alcoves. Otherwise, the little ones you just kind of bob and weave through. Alright, usually I go left first. I'm going to go right this time. Uh, yeah, the skeletons are kind of jerks. The Stalfos, they like jumping out of the way. I don't know why I went that way. I know I can't go that way. 
Yeah. One of the few enemies, as far as I know, that you can actually completely destroy with the boomerang. Alright, hit the button. There we go. Alright, I got the map. Woohoo! I'll make my way back to the other room with the Stalfos, and then... Yeah, basically just go the way I just, uh, go left, like I said I was going to do before. Yeah, this isn't a, like I said, this is Baby's First Zelda Dungeon. This isn't a very complicated layout. Alright, now there are Stalfos. These ones just like jumping away from your sword. There are other Stalfos that uh, have red tints to them that will actually jump back and then throw a bone at you. Because they are jerks. Alright. These guys are a little easier to kill. There we go. With the pots. Because you can one shot them with the pots. And the last one. Because I'm a completionist. <laughs> but only for stupid stuff. Alright. There's the compass. All I need now. Is the big key. And that thing on the wall. Just talks to Sahasrala. And he'll give you a little tip. Uh, here's the big chest that'll give me the bow. And I actually have arrows for it. Oh crap, I woke that thing up. Wasn't trying to. Go away. Ah! I, yeah, I'm just gonna... I, 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 I was gonna try to <laughs> kill him. It was just like, eh. It's not worth the effort. Alright, now it's gonna get dark. Kill that dude. Oop. Ah, crap. Ah! Run away! I need to get the key from this room, which is, of course, also in complete darkness. Ah, there we go. Eh, why not? I'm in here. There we go. <laughs> Alright, make my way through here. On my path. Uh, on the path, rather, to go get the... Ah, oh, it was my last chance to see the big ball. I was hopeful it was going to pop up. <laughs> uh, on the path to go get the big key, which is in this room. Have to basically kill everything. And then those little guys will... Ah, you jerk. Oh my god, these things are so annoying. There we go. Yeah, you kill everything, they all scatter, and then I can activate the button that tur opens, or turns on the chest that has the big key in it. Now, I can go get the bow and get to the boss. Also, I can open doors like that that have the big key keyhole. Go past the Sazrala tile again. Now, when I grab the chest, a bunch of skeletons are going to jump down and chase after me with their flying heads. I'm just going to ignore them. However, I am going to pull up my bug catching net because I am going to go get the fairies. Look at that. Two bottles, two fairies. Perfect. All right. Uh, I got my two fairies now, so now I have two basically continues if I die. Uh, I'm not going to die here, unless I do really badly, but I'm not expecting to. Alright, uh, this one I think I have to uh, kill everything in the room. Oh yeah, because he had the key, so... Uh, and I think, yeah, if I go right, there's a room full of rupees. Which, yeah, I'm pretty sure I might already have enough for the flippers, but... I can't remember if they're 300 or 600. Wait, if they're 600, I'm not that far, as you can see. I'm at 530 already, and that was after buying the bottle. Oh, yeah, I never finished talking about the bottles earlier because I get sidetracked easily. The fourth bottle is in the Dark World. After you clear, I think, the fourth dungeon in the Dark World. Uh, let me kill these guys. Oh, you can use your sword on them. I just did that reflexively. For some reason, I thought only the bow and arrow worked. Maybe that's the red ones that the bow and arrow only works on, the, on them. Um, anyways, 
There's a chest you find that's unopenable. It just follows you around. You just dart across this room. Ha! Right through like threading a needle, baby. Oh dear. Stop moving. There we go. Uh, yeah, so then there's a thief near the desert in the light world. Bring the chest to him. He can open it. And then you get the fourth bottle from there. Hey, wake up, buddy. There we go. Don't really need that. I maxed out on arrows, but eh. <laughs> it's right there. Alright, now it's time for the boss. Let's do this. I don't know why I'm trying to attack with my sword. I know that doesn't work. At least not before they come to life. Lug them all full of arrows. That one missed. Alright. Go ahead and... You get them down and... Oh, missed again. Uh, you get them down and then the last one alive then turns red and yeah, starts trying to jump on you from the air and basically just kind of keep your space. And there we go. Uh, first dungeon is down, and the Pendant of Courage is mine. Alright, three down, two to go. And then the Master Sword is mine. Alright, gonna move out of the way of that dude. I just beat your temple, buddy. I don't need... I don't need your guff. Let's head back to Saz Rala's house. Uh, kill that dude just because. <laughs> That's for the other guy who threatened me. How about that? Alright, talk to him. Got the Pendant of Courage. This is just an info dump. Basically, you know, they created a seal. There's the Pegasus boots. Uh, the seal is in danger. I have to go stop Princess Zelda from being uh, sucked into the Dark World so the seal is not completely broken. Because the bad guys cannot have access to uh, the Dark World. Although, spoiler, they already do. <laughs> Alright, now that we got the Eastern Palace out of the way, it is time to go do the Desert Palace, and this one is probably going to be just as fast, if not faster than the other one, because it's not a very long guy. But first things first, let's go to the library and grab that book just like I told you guys about before. Now that I have the Pegasus boots, I can get it, because in order to get the book that you need to access the Desert Palace, it is on the top of a bookcase in the library and you need the Pegasus boots so you can charge the bookcase and knock it off. Eh, nah, I'll skip the... I bre for a split second thought about, eh, do I want to gamble some more? Nah, they got more important things to do. Alright, there's the book. I'll charge the bookcase. There's the Book of Medora. Yep, there it is. Basically, there's a plaque written in ancient hylian ease <laughs> that is guarding the entrance to the Desert Palace, and you need the Book of Medora to translate it so you know how to get in, which is basically just pray, I guess. That is literally what he does, so... All right. Now, I would be able to go down at that spot instead of hanging a left and going back by my house, but I do not have the item that allows me to pick up rocks yet, which you actually get from clearing the second uh, dungeon here. So I will have that very shortly. And then there's another one later that you get an upgraded version that can pick up the black rocks in addition to the gray ones. I jerk. Yeah, there's a black rock there, you can see. See, right now I can't pick up any of these. Oh, hey, there's the thief that uh, unlocks the fourth bottle once you get the treasure chest. But that's not going to be for quite a while, so... 
not that doesn't concern us right now. Eh, I'm only missing a heart, but I'll stop in. Why not? Alright, head on down through the desert, watch out for the sand dudes doing jazz hands. That's a bomb, don't step on that. Oh, jazz hands got me. Now I have a buzzard circling me, but... Ah, you jerk. Get... Ah, got him with that. You can shoot him with the bow and it kills him, but oh great, now I have two of them. Awesome. Ah, I'm just gonna ignore him. I was like, I'm too lazy to get the bow out and actually try to aim and waste arrows. I only have five arrows at the moment. Alright, so use the Book of Medora on the plaque, do a little prayer. Uh, the buzzards are still hanging out. You can see their shadows. <laughs> well, you guys get a show, so enjoy that. Look at the buzzards basically don't attack you, they just circle around you. But like if you charge ahead, they can hit you. And yeah, alright, we're in dungeon number two. Make our way through here. Took wrong turn. <laughs> and it's bound to happen on occasion. I'm not a speedrunner, I'm not a pro, I don't have this entire game memorized. Uh, most of it, but, you know, not the entire game. Alright, one of these rooms, it's not this one, but one of them has a key that is actually hiding on a the top of one of these, like, torch things that you have to use the Pegasus boots to charge. Oh, hey, I'm getting plenty of arrows. Collect some stuff, go ahead and grab the chest. Now I got the map that I don't really need. Light that for. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for some reason. I, usually, if there's unlit torches, something happens. That that time, there was nothing. Oh, yeah, that's the room I just came in. I knew that. <laughs> okay, this room above is the one that I think. Yep, yep, there's the key above the thing. You just gotta charge it, knock it down just like the book. Grab it. Avoid Laser Mick Statue Stein here. That is his official name. Don't look it up. <laughs> Alright, there's a button under one of these. There it is. We'll go ahead and just grab the rest of them because, hey, rupees and stuff. And as discussed before, still need to be able to afford the flippers at some point soon. Alright, found the big chest, but I don't have the big key yet. I actually do know where the big key is. That chest actually has the, the power glove in it, so... I just gotta go over to the eastern side of the temple here, go down a few screens. Ah, dang it. I don't know why I just didn't run through. Uh, there's my key I used. And yeah, gotta clear this room out real quick. There we go. Grab that first. And the room right above should have the big key, along with the little gauntlet that I have to charge through. Let's go for it. Oh, didn't make it. <laughs> I like charging across and see if I can make it without getting hit by one of the balls. Hey, hey alright, made it on the return trip. Go me. I'm going to consider that a net win, is what I'm going to consider that. <laughs> I'm doing fine health-wise, though. I still got uh, two fairies if worse comes to worse, but probably not going to be an issue until I start getting to the dark world stuff, as some of those bosses get real tough. I will die in the dark world, I promise you that. Alright, now I got the big key, I can open this, and there is the power glove. You can pick up and carry stones now, which of course is necessary to complete the dungeon because you have to go outside and go to the back, you'll see what I mean in a minute, and the entrance to the final area where the boss is, is, ah, I got stuck by the sand trap, jerk. The area where the boss is, is actually barricaded by stones. Oh, hey, that was much easier than trying to attack them. I don't know what I was thinking there. Ah, there we go. That one I remembered there was a stone to push. Oh, hey, fairies. Well, I'll restore my life. I don't actually need... 
I'm pretty sure all of the first couple of dungeons have little fairy depositories in them. Alright, now if I go down here, there will be a heart piece. Awesome. And then right behind everything here are the stones, and now here's the final area of the dungeon. This is another push puzzle, yep. Oh, tile. I hate the tiles so much. I really do. Alright. This is, I'm pretty sure, just another clear everything room. At most, is 600. Ah, jerk. Don't remember if you need to light these. I. Ah! Good lord. I'm going to guess no, because nothing happened. Sometimes I think they just put those there as set dressing, or maybe to make you think that they're part of the puzzle when they're really not. Alright, yep, not even going to play around with the tiles. <laughs> just be like, nope, I'm out of there. There are rooms later where you have to let the entire... Ah! Okay, pot doesn't work. Sword doesn't work on the right, guys. I was correct about that. But pot doesn't work. That surprised me. I know two arrows will kill him. There we go. Uh, what a jerk. <laughs> Alright, light these four. Now these ones are ones you actually have, have to actually light. <laughs> and then this will open up, I'm pretty sure, the boss door. And there's a big keyhole. Uh, ah, screw it, let's do the ice rod. Yep, boss room time. Let's fight the big old desert worms. All right, doing well so far. Ah, shot that one a little early. All right, one of them's already down. The other one, I don't know how that missed him. Oh, hey, all right, two down, awesome. Yeah, missed that one. Got him, but now I'm out of magic, so let's see if I can use arrows to finish this guy off. The trick is to shoot at just the right moment. So there we go. The trick is to hit them at just the right moment, so you're getting them right when they come out. So no matter which way they go, you nail them. All right, and we've got the second of the third pendants, and that took no time at all. We've already cleared two dungeons. Look at that. All right, pendant of power. Your goal of finding three pendants is in sight. So it is. All right, now that the land molas in the desert palace are out of the way and we have the second pendant, we can move on to the third and final pendant atop Death Mountain. But first, let's check out this cave. By the way, random rant, when I got that last pendant, the blue one, it said it was the pendant of power. Okay, yeah, this dude just said... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought I remembered somewhere that you could... Uh, charge a bombable wall and it would break it. Maybe that's only certain walls, or maybe I'm just crazy. Anyways, I have plenty of bombs, so... Alright, piece of heart. Two more and I will have another heart container. Anyways, this dude had nothing of value <laughs> to offer, so... Um, as I was saying, the blue pendant that we just got from the Desert Palace was labeled in-game as the Pendant of Power, Though, I believe canonically, well, green has always been courage, blue has always been wisdom, and red has always been power. So, I don't know if that was just a miscommunication on their end, or like an issue in translation. Ah, see, I can pick those up now. Still can't pick up the black ones, not yet. Also, I just remembered, I think there is a... Um, yeah, and under this one, I think there's a stairwell, but first, this dude's gonna be pooping out rupees. Let's chase him. Let's open this up. There we go. Let's see what's down here. Because I don't remember. I think this dude gives me a bunch of rupees. 
No, never mind. He was just telling me about Lake Hylia. Alright, cool. One of those dudes does give you a bunch of rupees when you find him in his like underground cave. He's like, hey, don't tell anybody I'm here, and here's a present for you. And then I'm pretty sure another one like steals rupees from you because he's like, hey, you you broke my door or something. Like you have to like bomb to get in. And he's like, I can't believe you destroyed my door. You owe me money. <laughs> uh, yeah, to finish my thought from before. Yeah, I know I do this a lot. Yeah, basically. I don't know if it maybe just wasn't the case that the pendants slash the Triforce, those colors, were not... Basically, I don't know if they screwed up with the translation of the game or if it's just something they instituted later. Because I'm pretty sure, like, from Ocarina of Time on, it's always green is courage, red is power, and blue is wisdom. Alright, well, for now... I'm not going to worry about it. There's nothing I can do about it. It's a, a 30 year old game. So, uh, now that I have the power glove, I can destroy this big rock in the way. And, since I won't shut up about it, let's go get the flippers. How about that? Let's charge these things. I remember not being able to figure out immediately how to get through past those as a kid. Because I like, tried to bomb them and it didn't work. And it's like, I'm not really sure. Ah, you jerk. Good lord. Oh, yeah, I was prepared for that one. Alright, once I get the flippers, there is a heart piece here as well. But first, I gotta get through this. Oh, yeah, there it is. I will be able to get that on my way out, but you need the flippers to get them. And I have more than enough rupees to get them at the moment, so... I... Do not remember. No, that's definitely not right. Um, this might not be right either. Now, all right. Yeah, I think it's. The, I, I thought after I started walking, I thought I think it's the bottom path. But I had already started on that path, so it's like, eh, let's do this one and see <laughs> what. See if it's right or not. And yeah, it wasn't. But I found it. All right. All right. Is it 300 rupees or 600 rupees for the flippers. I want the flippers. Oh, 500 rupees. Okay. So I was not wrong either time. <laughs> or I was, well, I was not correct either time, rather. I was wrong both times. <laughs> uh, the important thing is I had more than enough money to get them, and I still have 191. I actually thought about... Uh, there is another minor money sink. Yeah, here's that piece of heart. Uh, I should be able to get another one before I make it into Hera's Tower. Um, I think there's one before you get into Death Mountain. I guess we'll all maybe explore around and take a look. But first, uh, there's a little waterfall here. Kill these guys. And I'm going to go into the waterfall and throw in a couple of items to upgrade them. Namely, my shield and my boomerang in particular. Uh, which one do I want to do first? As ah, to the boomerang. It popped up first in the list, so. And then she comes back, she's like, oh, did you drop this? And you're like, yep. And she's like, you're honest. I'm going to give you something better in return. Yep. And that's the good boomerang that goes faster and farther. And uh, just hang out here for a moment, and it'll give me the prompt again. There we go. And now I want to do the shield. There we go. And it'll give me the red shield, which can reflect fireballs. Or at least... Well, it doesn't really reflect them. It just... Can block them, basically. <laughs> oh yeah, now you can defend yourself against fireballs. And then uh, the flippers, I can use these little whirlpools to get around. And this one in particular takes me to Lake Hylia. Uh, this island here I will be returning to to get into the Ice Palace later in the Dark World. Uh, there's a heart piece, but I have to go through the Dark World to get that one. There's no other way to get up there. So, ah, kind of stuck in the canal there. 
I'm gonna pop over here, go under the bridge, and get the third bottle I was talking about earlier. And of course the fourth one I won't be able to get until much later, so... Alright. Yeah, this dude's just a hobo and he's like, hey, I don't have much, but I can give you this, buddy. Yo, dork, you seem to be in a heap of trouble. <laughs> That's never not going to be entertaining to me. I'm a child. <laughs> Alright. Dodge the Zoras. Unfortunately, even with my upgraded shield, I can't use it in the water. So, better off just trying to avoid them. Uh, yeah, let's try going this way. Maybe if I don't have to deal with the... Oh, actually, this is where the ferry is. That's perfect. Yeah, awesome. This is the ferry outside the Eastern Palace. That was a very good choice to get out there. I didn't really want to go all the way back, you know, to the waterfall and then make my way. Like, it's not a huge run, but... Oh, yeah, a tree. I was going to be like, hey, check out how far it goes, and then I hit a tree. <laughs> Alright, let's charge across here. That path to the left there takes you to Hyrule Castle. And now that I have the flippers here, I can do a little shortcuts like this. Oh, hey, apples. Neat. There's an occasional tree that'll give you something special if you hit it. And then the... Oh, hey, okay, let's go down here. <laughs> let's see what's down here. Well, besides some more of that amazing 1991 water animation. Alright, fairy, don't need her. Okay, just a fairy, I guess. Sure, why not? <laughs> I guess it's good to know if you need to get there. Oh, hey, there's a red guard I was telling you about before. I'm not even going to try getting to him. Now here's the sanctuary. So, kind of give you an idea. We basically made a circle here. But now we're going to head up. But first, I'm going to destroy this, because I think this is where I'll find the fourth piece of heart. I hope. Gaha! There we go. Alright. Another heart container, baby. I'm up to eight. Yeah, see, nothing happened with that one. I'll, I'll try a few occasionally. There's one up by the entrance to the Lost Woods, a little north of here, that does eventually uh, open up. And like when you charge it, it makes the the green part of the tree just go away completely. And then you can enter it, and there's like hidden stuff inside, maybe a piece of heart or something. But you can't get it right now because right now there's lumberjacks playing with it. All right, grab some extra rupees. Now let's start making the trek up to Death Mountain. Right, make my way through here. And here's the old man. He says he lost his lamp and needs us to help him. So we'll do all the work and he will just follow behind. All right. Giving me a little bit of basically saying, hey, if you're coming up here looking for the golden power, maybe don't. It's dangerous. Turn right here. I have a granddaughter that's your age. Uh, basically, he knows something is going on with the maidens being taken. I do believe his granddaughter is one of the seven maidens who got taken uh, and is a crystal spoiler that we will be rescuing later on. Ah, stupid boulder. Alright, he just gave me a mirror that uh, will allow me to escape if I am transported into a magical, mystical world that will become important very soon. Alright, and he does give me a nice little heal. Now, if I save and quit, I can come here in addition to the sanctuary or my house if I'm in the light world. I think if you're in the dark world, you can only go to uh, the pyramid, which is basically where Hyrule Castle is, uh, or like 
you go to the start of a dungeon if you, like, save and quit inside a dungeon. But that's true in the light world as well. Truthfully, most of them aren't long enough that you really need to worry about doing that, so... Alright, there's a thing there. There's a whole network of caves. I'm not going to worry about them right now. Uh, right now my goal is to get to Tower of Hera. Alright, so I got sucked into the Dark World. I got turned into a bunny. Um, that's because I do not have an item that will protect my current form when I go into the Dark World. I will be getting that item in the Tower of Hera, which is right here. It is the Moon Pearl, if I recall correctly. Alright, and we're in dungeon number three. Let's start making our way through. Alright, that was easy. Oh, I think I needed to hit that switch. Yeah. Oh, oh no, that worked out. Alright. I wasn't sure if my boomerang would go through it, but it did. Alright. Oh, these things are annoying because they bounce you around. Oh, dear. I might actually have to kill them. <laughs> Sometimes you just knock them into the pit and they'll be fine. But, like, they also bounce back. Yeah, there we go. They also bounce back when you attack them. So, ooh, let's see if I can get some go down the pit here. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Ah! Good lord. I right, fine. Screw that. <laughs> Actually, I might need to go up here first. Oh, this is a tile room. Um, uh, yeah, ah. Uh. Yeah, you can attack them, but you gotta have good timing. It's not awful, but it's usually easier to just avoid them, except when you try to avoid them and fail, like that one. But that, that one, I just didn't swing the sword fast enough. It's easier when they're further away. You can time it better. When they're right next to you, sometimes you basically have to have the timing perfect, or else you end up missing them. Or they hit you. Alright, made a little skull and crossbones. They can move on. Uh, these things are basically what the boss of the level is going to be, except he's going to be much bigger. Okay. Oh, hey, these are the red ones I was talking about, where if I attack them with my sword, they will uh, jump back like the other ones, but then uh, throw a bone at me, which is rude. Aha, big key, all right. Now I can progress further. So yes, no. I was being silly. I meant to jump down that pit before because I remembered I had to go this way. For some reason, I thought that... Oh, crap. Alright, well I did screw up, <laughs> I hit the wrong switch before I came back upstairs. Um, I thought that the big key was in that other section, and the way to go up the tower was in the section I jumped down before, if that makes sense. <laughs> Maybe, question mark, I don't know. Anyways, now that I have the big key, why did I do that? I don't know. Now that I have the big key, we can ascend the tower, get the moon pearl, and take out the Moldorm. Ah, yes, now that I have the big key, I can actually progress. Alright, yeah, grab that, because I am down a few hearts. I'll go ahead and make my way in. Uh, yeah, it's just a couple of floors of crap like this. It's a little annoying. Ha! <laughs> take that. That was absolutely planned. 
Alright, make my way back upstairs. Well, not back upstairs, but make my way upstairs. There is the Moon Pearl. I will not be able to get it from this floor. I will have to... Ah, you jerk! I hit you! Ugh, I tell ya. There's the compass. Yeah, I won't be able to access it until I go upstairs and then drop down the floor. So for now, I'll just have to skip it and come back. Alright, now I gotta remember exactly. I think you dropped from the top of this hole here. And if I did it right, and bingo. And there's the Moon Pearl. This protects the hero from the changing effects of the golden power. It's very important because you can't save the world as a bunny rabbit. Apparently. I feel like that's a bit inconsiderate of the feelings of bunny rabbits, but that is neither here nor there. Alright, uh, basically he's going to ignore all these guys. Uh, it's actually an entire row of pots of all hearts, but I don't think we're going to need it. Let's take this guy on. Plus, I do have two fairies, so I think I'm good. Alright, let's see if I can do this without... Fa ah! Let's see if I can do this without falling down the pit. I'll look like a real badass if I can. Okay. You gotta watch where he went, not where he's going, so you know where to hit him. I think this is... Ah, ha, ha, yes. I was just, just about to say he got faster. I think this is the last hit. Alright, awesome. And there is the third pendant. The Pendant of Power, although they claim it is the Pendant of Wisdom. All three pendants, let's go get us a Master Sword. Alright, the Tower of Hera is out of the way. Now, it's time to go get the Master Sword and take on the Hyrule Castle Tower. But first, I need to get off Death Mountain. Which means, yay, more dodging boulders. And these little goblin things on the ground. I have no idea what those things are, but they are annoying. Alright, make our way back down the exact way we came. See how good of a job I do at backtracking here. I think this was actually the wrong way. Yep. <laughs> Kind of at a certain point, you take the wrong path and you're like, eh, might as well just see where it goes anyways. Oh. Huh. Well. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that. But, so, my path out of the mountain the way I came is blocked. So I'm just going to save and quit. I'm just going to get down the mountain the cheap and easy way. Uh, let's start from the sanctuary. That's fairly close to where... <laughs> See, I don't actually know how to get down the mountain properly because I always just save and quit at that point, so... Screw it. Go with what you know. <laughs> Alright. Now we'll make our way... Actually, I'm gonna head over here first. Yeah, I'll go through the Lost Woods here. Normally I go through the uh, upper eastern entrance, but I thought, you know what? I'll do something different this time. Uh, is this the dude who steals my money when I talk to him? Oh, hey, piece of heart. Uh. Oh, okay. Now, he just tells me that one of his ex-members is staying in the desert. It's the dude who opens up the treasure chest. And go ahead and yep, find the hole here. And get my piece of heart. I don't really need to talk to him again. Alright, now I gotta try and remember basically the way to get to the Master Sword. Oh, and the mushroom. Grab that so I can get the powder from the witch later. Uh, 
Alright. Now that, uh, see, part of the problem is I went in a different way than I usually go, so I had to kind of reorient myself. And, yeah, there we go. I mean, finding the mushroom helped. Because I know how to get, I know how to get to the Master Sword from the mushroom. Alright, if you use the Book of Medora on the plaque there, it basically just tells you gather the three pendants and claim the Master Sword. I don't need to read it, so... Alright, we have the Master Sword. Suddenly, Sahasrala contacts you telepathically. Dork, it is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please, dork. <laughs> Alright. Make my way out of here and should be getting a telepathic message from Zelda here in a moment. Dork, help! The soldiers are coming to Sanctuary. Aye! <laughs> uh, hey, I can kill the birds in one hit now that I have the stronger sword. So, there are four levels to the sword strength-wise, because the third one is the tempered red sword, and the fourth one, I believe, is the golden sword. Um, I, I can't get either of those until far later, so... You jerk. So for now, I will take the master sword. It is more powerful, and that will help. Alright, so this is the entrance I usually come through. Those are the two guys who are sawing the tree. Once they leave, I can charge at that tree, knock the top of it off, and there will be a little uh, opening to go down. And I, I honestly don't remember what's down there. I think like a piece of heart, probably. Maybe some rupees. I think once I go... Hey, apples, alright. I actually could use those this time to restore my hearts. Uh, oh, yeah, now that I have the Master Sword, when I have full life, I have the uh, Beam Sword. Well, it shoots beams when I use it, which is very helpful going forward. Right now, I have to get to Hyrule Castle again, luckily. Oh, actually, as long as I'm here, I'm going to get the powder. Not that far, and might as well get... Yeah, I'm not going to leave that dude alone. He's going to electrocute me otherwise. I'll go... Thank you, young man. Come back to the shop later for something good. Which basically just means walk off screen and come back. I was going to say, since I'm going to be heading to the Dark World temporarily... That's one way to get rid of him, and now I can't loot the... A rupee. Oh well. Uh, I was say, might as well grab the powder now. I don't actually recall off the top of my head if there's anything you specifically need the powder for in the game or if it just helps you fight some enemies. Like... I know in Link's Awakening, the powder is required for progression fairly early on, actually. Let's stop off here. Yeah, you should probably talk to him and say, hey, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> and Zelda's been taken. I don't remember if that's a requirement for triggering the ability to get into the castle tower or not, so better safe than sorry. Right, the red guards are kind of out and about now. Alright, so basically I uh, start by heading into the way I went into the castle at the beginning of the game. Ah! Okay, I sort of thought I'd just run through them. I did not expect they would uh, reflect me off of themselves. Oh well. Just means I lost my fun little beam sword. I'll get it back soon.
See? <laughs> Alright, carry the pot, kill the guard with it. It's a tradition. It's, it's the good luck pot. <laughs> Alright, now I can get into the tower, because normally you can't get past that thing unless you have the Master Sword. The Master Sword is required to destroy that. And now, we make our way up. These guys are much easier to kill with the Beam Sword. <laughs> Gotta grab the Rupee. Even the single Rupee. Yeah, some of these rooms are going to have a bunch of guys in them. I'm just going to charge through them. This one, obviously, I had to clear because I needed the key. Alright, now we get a bunch of dark rooms, which is always fun. I will say attacking with the beam sword is weaker than attacking with the actual blade, which makes sense because there has to be some concession for the fact that your sword is basically a ranged attack now when you're at full power. It's a bit OP otherwise. That makes things a little easier to see. Yeah, eventually I'll get the fire rod. I think that's in the third dungeon in Skull Woods. And then I could just be lighting these torches from across the room. Which is always a handy little ability. Yeah, a little turned around. I wanted to make sure I got the chest because I ain't getting much further without the key. God, I feel like it's harder to get around when I can see what I'm doing. Mazes or whatever my specialty as a child. Oh hey, a fairy. I actually need a fairy for my third bottle. Fantastic, look at that. Now I got three fairies, three bottles. I used to get three chances to completely F it up and still walk away. Which again, go into the dark world, I'm going to need that very soon. <laughs> Some dungeons are actually better than others boss-wise, like I quite enjoy the Swamp Palace boss, the second uh, dungeon in the Dark World. Uh, that one's always fun to do with the hookshot, and you gotta pull the stuff off of him. You'll see what I mean later. Um, ah, oh, dang it. Yay, I got it back. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, so like the first dungeon boss in the Dark World, the big scorpion thing, I'm blanking on his name at the moment. I'll know it by the time I fight him later. Uh, he, or she, <laughs> I often struggle against. It sucks when I watch speedrunners fight it and um, end up like destroying him in like 10 seconds and I'm just like oh man I always die on that thing at least once I'm very bad at that particular boss but hey maybe I'll do better this time and if not that's what I got the fairies for oh so I mentioned earlier that I had remembered another gold sink or rupee sink uh, but then I don't believe I ever elaborated on it because I got distracted this is a room I just run through <laughs> I ain't fighting all that no thank you uh, basically, to enter the Dark Palace, the first dungeon in the Dark World, you need a minimum of 100 rupees because the door is locked and you cannot get in unless a little monkey jumps up top and opens it for you. But in order to do that, you have to pay him 100 rupees. Alright, he's going to make Zelda vanish in front of our very eyes. This is the Dark Wizard Aghanim, who definitely is not Ganon in disguise. No sir, no how. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. He's 100% Ganon in disguise. Alright. 
He thought he was very clever when he escaped one room north of where we were. So now I'm going to go ahead and take him on by playing everybody's favorite sport, Hylian Table Tennis. Ooh, I didn't time that one very well. Eh, my bad. Ooh, almost missed that one. I'm better at aiming. I need to stand closer, honestly, when I do these. But I, if I go too close, I'm always afraid I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna mistime it. But hell, I can't time it when I'm standing far away, apparently. So, oh yeah, see, I completely beefed that one. All right, I haven't gotten one spinny blue ball one yet. Those are annoying because ah, there we go. I say those are annoying because they can't be reflected back at him. And anytime he goes up top center, he's always doing the lightning attack, which you just get behind him or to the side and he won't hit you with. But truthfully, this fight already should have been over. But now that I keep screwing up. Ah, there we go. See, it worked better when I got closer to him. I will have to remember that for the rematch. Uh, spoilers. Alright. Dork, it is I, Sahasrala. I am communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land, but evil power turned it into the Dark World. The wizard has broken the wise men's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the Light World, you must win back the Golden Power. You must also rescue the seven maidens who Aghanim sent to the Dark World. As members of the bloodline of the Seven Wise Men, they have power that will surely help you. The Maidens are locked in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Dork, I can rely on only you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you. Now that Sahasrala's inspirational speech is out of the way, we can begin clearing Dark World Dungeons. I'm going to go ahead and just make my way right over to the first one, the they got Palace of Darkness, Dark Palace, I think they're interchangeable, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it's in the same area that the Eastern Palace was at the beginning of the game, just in the Dark World variant. I think those stone things are supposed to look like demons, but they always look like Yoda to me. <laughs> So, I follow the handily placed uh, arrows telling me exactly where to go. Very kind of them. Kind of mishmash your way through the bushes here. Kill the uh, tentacle party favors here. Oh, here's the main one. When I come out of here, I will have the monkey with me. Kiki the monkey. I love rubies. Can you give me ten? Give him ten. Good choice. I will accompany you. Now, make our way over to the entrance to the dark palace. And he's going to say, hey, I can open it for you, but I need a hundred. Just like I said before, ask him to open it. As far as I know, there's no way to open it yourself. You have to give him the rupees. So, as I got plenty. So, all right, we are in. Let's begin our Dark World Dungeon Odyssey here. Now, the weapon slash specialty item you get from this dungeon is the hammer. It does not have very good range. In fact, the range is pretty terrible, but it does help in defeating armored creatures and allows you to get past posts that are blocking your path. Uh, you cannot actually access the rest of the Dark World until you clear this first dungeon uh, because there are hammerable posts that block your path. Once you clear this one, I'm pretty sure you can go ahead and do them in basically any order, but 
I think I'm going to go ahead and just clear them in numerical order that they have you do. So like the second one is going to be the Swamp Palace. The third is Skull Woods, basically where the Master Sword was. Uh, the fourth is the Thief's Hideout, Thief's Den, something like one of those. Um, I have them written down somewhere, but I don't have the list in front of my face right now. Uh, that's in the middle of the equivalent of Kakariko Village. The fifth dungeon is the Ice Palace in the middle of the equivalent of Lake Hylia. The sixth dungeon is Misery Mire, which is basically where the Desert Palace was. And the seventh is Turtle Rock, which is on the equivalent of the eastern edge of Death Mountain, on the far side of the map. And then once you have all seven maidens rescued and dungeons cleared, you can enter Ganon's Tower and basically finish off the game. Uh, Ganon's Tower is where the Tower of Hera was, uh, back in the light world. So you basically, you, we've seen most of Hyrule at this point, and the dark world, we'll end up seeing most of that before the end as well. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure I bomb the correct spots so I don't fall through the floor and die. Uh, these guys basically need the arrows. Um, they, yeah, there we go. Oh, didn't mean to do that. The green ones, or blue ones, whatever, die in one hit. The red ones require two, and the red ones are also the only ones that shoot back at you. Yeah, you can already see the hazards are already stepping up a bit, and they're only going to get harder as the dungeons continue on. Uh, the third, um, the Skull Woods that I mentioned before, is actually probably one of my least favorite dungeons in this entire game because it's a whole, it's a maze basically where you have to, yeah, I don't want to, ah, yeah, I was just, literally just going to say I don't want to attack these guys when they're doing the electrocution, so, uh, I will continue my Skull Woods thought in a moment. These red bobbing things here are posts that require the hammer to get through, so I cannot get down there until I have the hammer, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and bomb these. I think one of them has a key behind it. Uh, this is just a fairy room. I'm full up on fairies, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so yeah, it's very likely even all of the dungeons here in the Dark World do have fairy rooms hidden somewhere. Alright, there's the key I needed. I've actually forgotten about that key in the past and gotten stuck. So, not stuck like soft-locked or anything, but certainly... Um, when you don't ha have to backtrack when doing these dungeons, it does make it quite a bit easier. Because backtracking makes it very easy to lose your place and try to remember where you're supposed to be going. Now, the Skull Woods, as I was talking about, the overworld is actually part of the dungeon, more or less. Because there are different entrances to part. Basically, the dungeon is separated and you have to leave and find different areas in the woods to enter different parts of the dungeon and it's just a giant pain. Also the boss is on a treadmill that moves left, right, up, down and there's spikes on every wall. It's just a real pain in the boot. I tried to say butt and booty at the same time and came up with boot and you know what, screw it, I kinda like it. It's a real pain in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what's wrong with me that my brain just says boot and is like, nope, yep, that's right, that's what I meant to say. Alright, definitely don't, there's the hammer, but I don't have the big key yet, so I can't get it. Just double check, make sure I don't have the big key, and no, I do not. So, I, just, I, just, I did have that split second of, wait, I don't have it, do I? I just got the compass, I have the map, so... Alright, there's some rupees. Grab those. Uh, there's a small key, not quite what I'm looking for, but I'll take it. And some arrows that I did not need at all. I will continue hoovering up these rupees because I like money. 
Call me Mr. Krabs. Alright, these turtles also basically require the hammer to beat because you use the hammer to knock the, uh, flip them over and then squash them. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to... Ah, oh, that worked out. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna have to jump down and hope for the best, but yeah, that worked out okay. Alright. I gotta try to remember which way I'm going. Nope, I think that was the right way. This is the fun part, is just trying to mentally remember. Ah, okay, yeah. I think that treasure chest right there on the right of the screen is the big key. And I have to jump down here in order to get it. Um, let's try this one first. Oh, maybe not. There's Lil' Key, again. Oh, here's some more of those ones from when I got the bow and arrow in the first dungeon. Remember that? <laughs> Alright, and that just teleported me back. So, I think I did actually want to use that upper, uh, the door, before I jumped down. So... Let's try this one more time. No worries. I'm in no rush. <laughs> a lot of these dungeons are actually going a lot faster than I remember them going back in the day. I don't know if I'm better or if these just weren't as hard as I remember them being. Maybe both. And there's the big key. Now I can go get the hammer. You know what that means, 90s babies. It's hammer time. Yeah. You know why I avoided those turtles? Because they can't touch this. <laughs> uh, who is my audience? <laughs> I have no idea. I think the question I have for everybody who has subscribed to me so far is, why? <laughs> no, ah, dang it. Alright. I'll just fight them. Oh my god, they don't want to die. Eh, no. Sword is still... The blue ones aren't as bad. The red ones just... Oh my god, they take forever. Okay. Now... That's up, so yeah, I basically... Have to... Oh wait, will that work? Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to go all the way back around. That is fantastic. Ooh, almost went off the edge there. Alright, go through the door. This room is dark. I remember that. This is kind of like the room in the last dungeon. Uh, that's basically... It's like a little maze in the dark. Alright, some bombs. Which you need because you can't actually get to... Boy, the beam sword is, makes things so much easier in this area. Ah, jerk moved. There we go. Uh, you need bombs because you have to destroy a bombable wall in order to get to the hammer. There's the key I needed. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I don't have too much left in this dungeon, actually. Pretty much just the hammer and then... Make my way through the last little section. And here's the hammer. <laughs> With its amazing range of half a block in front of me. As you can see. At least, it's probably a full block in front of me, but it doesn't feel like it sometimes. You gotta get, like, right up on top of whatever you're trying to kill in order to damage them with the hammer. That's why I always feel bad when you see speedrunners doing the Link to the Past randomizers, and the only weapon they have for the majority of the run ends up being the hammer. It's like, oh my god, I would go insane. Oh, now I get to show off how to kill the, um, turtles properly. Ay, dang it. I just had to let them get on top of me. The one downside is once they flip back over... They are harder to kill because they start moving faster. Which, what are you going to do? 
Alright, now I need to make my way back to... Yeah, basically to the right here. Ah, Now it won't reach? That's BS. That's alright. I don't have to go through the orange this time, so... I don't have to play around and get it to work. So yeah, where the hammer things right there, the red posts from before, where you would have knocked them down... I obviously don't have to because I'm already down here, but... There are a couple different ways, or orders, rather, I think, to get some of the keys in this one. Uh, that button does not stay pressed down on its own, so you have to push the statue on top of it. Alright, we got another one of these. They only walk where I walk because they are mirrored. So basically I have to walk them into getting stabbed by the arrow through the head. Aren't I nice? Right, go ahead and shoot that guy in the eye. And yeah, we're like three rooms away from the boss already, you guys. This is actually going by real quick. Definitely some of the dungeons are going to be a little longer and some of them are going to be a little shorter. Uh, I seem to recall Misery Mire, the sixth dungeon, uh, being one of the longer ones. But again, that's when I was younger and maybe I'm just misremembering it. Yeah, you can one-shot the turtles with the hammer uh, when they're on their backs, but you have to be careful because if you miss them, they flip back over and start speeding. But it is a little faster than killing them with the sword. And here is lots of turtles in the dark. And right now I'm trying not to lose my sword beam. Alright, that went pretty well. Alright, gotta remember which block to push here. Literally the last one I try. Well, I mean, it was always going to be the last one I try, I suppose. <laughs> but literally the last one, I checked every single one before that is what I meant. Alright, and it's boss time. Also, I lied before, I did not look up his name, so I don't remember what it is. I'm going to call him Scorpion, because that is what he looks like. Actually, for my uh, 1995 Power Ranger the Movie fans, I'm going to go ahead and call him Scorpitron. I think that's better, even though there's nothing Tron about him. Ooh, yeah, he hurts when you get hit. That's what I'm talking about. You need the hammer to destroy his mask. I think bombs also work. And it's a lot less dangerous to have to get right up on his uh, face. Yeah, I'm already almost dead, so thankfully I got... The there we go. Now I can just... Uh, but he's also faster now, too. Oof. Yeah, I didn't move out of the way of that one. That's what I got fairies for. Alright, let's use these couple screens of invincibility and go stab his head you a lot. Or maybe, well, a little bit at least. Ah! Screw it. Just take the hits. Get it down. There we go. Hey, I only went through one fairy. I'll take it. At a certain point, you're just like, you know what, screw it. Let's do it. <laughs> just run in there and Leroy Jenkins this mother. <laughs> Alright, and we already have the first Dark World dungeon cleared, and we have the first of seven Bejeweled Maidens rescued. Dork, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the Golden Land where the Triforce was hidden, but because Ganon, the boss of thieves, wished it, w wished it, the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers, but the gate is not com completely open yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. 
All right. So, the Helmosaur King, finally looked it up, you're welcome, is defeated. We have the first of seven maidens rescued, and now it's time to move on to the Swamp Palace. But first, I have to try to remember how to get out of here. <laughs> At least I don't have to pay a monkey to get out. I had to pay a monkey to get in. So, although I have, I ended up gaining more money than I lost going in there. So, you know, I'll survive. <laughs> All right. Take on the, ah, jerk. Take on the party favor. Yeah, see, I'm trying to fight with the hammer to illustrate how difficult it is. Why? I, I, knew, I knew that wasn't the right way. I don't know why. Ah. This is like Death Mountain. I usually just save and quit and start over at the pyramid when I finish most of these dungeons. <laughs> it's easier to, to get out that way. But, you know, I only had to do that once. I'm hoping I don't have to do that again. We, we shall see. Uh, kill the giant Perontus head. Yeah, whatever that is. Uh, actually, that's a pretty good name for it, and I stole it from Power Rangers. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal, because I already lost four hearts. Enemies, I'm noticing, are starting to do more damage now. And unfortunately, the first armor buff is not going to be available until the fifth dungeon with the blue armor. Um, the order... I'm going to try to stick to, because once you clear the first one, you can go and do the other ones. Like, some of them, I think you do need specific items to access, so you can't, like, just go right to Turtle Rock, as far as I know, because, like, I'm pretty sure you need the hook shot to get to Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain, or whatever the Dark World's uh, variant of Death Mountain is called, and you get that in the second dungeon. Oh my lord. I see no reason why. I, I was checking to see if one of those skulls was alive, and they were, with no intention of actually fighting it. So, yeah, I'm just going to get the boomerang and stun things instead. Alright, uh, pop in here. This is just the bomb shop. I don't think I'll need anything here. Yeah, no, there is a very big crack in the pyramid that you need to blow up using a big bomb that you get from that shop. And it has a timer and it follows you like the old man in Death Mountain does. Um, and basically you have to get it. It's not hard. You have to get it there before it explodes. And then uh, this is the Swamp Palace, by the way. Uh, to interrupt my own thought, which I do quite often, as you guys have no doubt noticed. Um, I'm going to finish the other thought in a moment. Uh, as you can see, I just thought I'd come in here to show you, there is no way for me to progress, because there is no water for me to swim in. So what I need to do is teleport to the light world, go drain the reservoir like I did way back, you know, a couple videos ago, or, if you're watching the full Game Clear version of this, just back earlier. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, I have to drain this like I'm trying to get the heart piece, and then it will affect the Dark World version of the dungeon, and I can proceed. So yeah, basically, uh, when you open a uh, bomb shop, when you open up uh, the hole in the pyramid, it's another wishing fairy, like the one where I got the magic boomerang and the fireball shield from. And you can throw in um, the arrow, the bone arrow, to get the silver arrows, which are required for defeating Ganon at the end of the game, just like the original. Ooh, some skillful dodging there. Oh, yeah, I jinxed it. <laughs> um, you could also throw, if you have the red tempered sword, which I will have by that point. I just have to clear, I think, the fourth dungeon in order to get it. Um, 
and yeah, but once you have, because you need the item from the fourth dungeon, but once you have it, it's not actually difficult to get it. Uh, but you throw that in and you get the golden sword, which is the ultimate version of the sword. Again, very handy for defeating the uh, final, you know, the final boss. I'm trying to remember how early you can access that bomb. For some reason, I think, I don't know why I'm killing these guys, I'll be honest. Good lord, I'm doing more damage to myself than, at this point it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> but that was a waste of time and effort and hearts, honestly. Anyways, this is what happens when I'm talking while I'm doing this because <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to, hey, maybe I should just ignore that dude and just freaking go. <laughs> uh, anyways, I want to say you can get it after the... Ah. I don't know why I keep trying to fight with the hammer. Well, I needed it for this thing, so I figured, why not? Um, oh, what the hell? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was, like, too high on it. It wouldn't push. I'm like, I know I'm doing this right. I've done this before. Um, anyways, I think you can get it after the sixth dungeon in the Dark World, after you beat Misery Mire, or possibly the seventh. I do don't remember off the top of my head. My brain is telling me you can get it after the 6th, but we'll check when we get to that point. Otherwise, worst case, if I have to beat Turtle Rock 2, I'll beat Turtle Rock 2. I gotta beat it to beat the game anyways, so it'll just be a little easier if I have a stronger sword when I go in there. Worst case, I am pretty sure uh, that's the hook shot, by the way, but I don't have the big key yet, so I can't get it. Uh, actually, I have no key, so I don't know why I went up there. I can't access that one either. Um, yeah, basically, the sooner I can get the gold sword, the easier it's going to be to clear the rest of the game. Alright, wait for him to get out of the way. Make my way down. Alright, there is a group of Y blocks that you can push, but it's not that one. Alright, I think that chest that was up on the left in that other room was the big key. But now that I have a small key, I can... I don't know why I went that way. <laughs> I'm making it longer for myself. I could have just gone around. I could have gone up. Anyways, I can open this now. Ugh, I hate these things. Hey, I didn't electrocute myself for once. Awesome. Very proud of myself. Alright, let's open that. I can't push that. I, I was trying to see if I could trap the spike trap, honestly. Alright, now that is open. So now I can just swim over the Y blocks. Yay, progress. <laughs> All right, wait for him to come up, throw the pot. I will say a lot of rooms in this particular dungeon look very similar. They all have a very similar vibe. Okay, this is the Y that I can push. There we go. But I'm going to check up here first to see if there's anything. Don't think there is. Oh, uh, maybe that's the big key. I just remember it being in one of those, like, green squares that's like, hey, this is something special. Hey, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Alright, yet another room with all of these water, water willies or whatever you want to call them. Yay! Hearts! Awesome. Back at full strength. Let's see if I can still be at full strength when I get to the top of this room, because I doubt it. Oh, alright. Yeah, I gotta push. Ah, why did I not go to the side? I tried to run away from... I freaking... Uh, oh, gosh. Which Stark was that? That 
uh, the little kid that ran in a straight line and got shot by the arrows, because that's what I just did. <laughs> huh. I don't remember which Stark that was. Also, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, see, again, this is why I need to focus, because I just started going instinctually back towards the main area, like I got the key, and it's like, no, I definitely didn't. Right, maybe I can make it through this one without... Oh, hey, that worked out. I just shoved the water guy out of the way. Oh. Uh, okay. Maybe that's why I was mentally heading back in that direction. Oh no, look out. <laughs> because I forgot, yeah, I needed to reset that. That was my bad. Well, I guess I should have trusted my instinct after all. What are you going to do? Alright, uh, let's see if I can trigger this without... No, I don't know why I thought that would work. Oh, okay, well, it still turned it on, but, yeah, no, I can't go that way. <laughs> I knew I couldn't go that way, and I still went down. Eh. <laughs> I got nothing. I really don't. Alright, now I should be able to get through that path, and I... Ah! Oh, come on! Ah. <sighs> Boy, I'm glad I'm not doing a damageless run of this, or I would have been disqualified, like, hours ago. And I'm not even that long into the run here. <laughs> I would have been disqualified before I even started, basically. But hey, that's just life in Hyrule. You know, I've beaten this game countless times. I've beaten the 64 Zeldas, I've beaten, you know, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, all these games. Uh, never beaten Twilight Princess, by the way. There's the big key. So I was right, it was in one of the green squares. Uh, never beaten Twilight Princess. I do need to rectify that at some point. I actually brought my Wii U uh, when we moved. I made sure I had it specifically set aside because I have Twilight Princess HD, and pretty much the main reason I, I made sure I knew where my Wii U was uh, and didn't just get packed away in a box because I wanted to run it for the channel because I figure, hey, if I'm running it for the channel, maybe I'll finally effing beat it. <laughs> Anyways, that has nothing to do with why I brought it up. Yay, the hook shot, by the way. my well, Probably my favorite item in the entire game. Um... I have beaten this game countless times. This is actually the earliest Zelda that I've beaten. I, oh, no, I take that back. Uh, I've never beaten the original Legend of Zelda. I have beaten Zelda 2, but on Switch Online with save states. And frankly, screw you, it counts. <laughs> because that game is absolutely atrociously difficult. Hey, there's the compass. Yeah, I only went down because I'm like, wait, did I ever go down? <laughs> I honestly wasn't sure if that was uh, an option even. Okay, there was nothing there. Well, not an option. Sorry, I got distracted by <laughs> looking at the pot. No, basically what I meant was uh, I wasn't sure if I'd actually gone that way or not. Because I could not remember. And no, the answer is no, I had not. Ah, we got another one of them pushing puzzles. Alright. Had one of these in the last dungeon, too. Oh, no. Ah! Trying to pull up the map. There we go. Oh, so I still got several rooms left to go. I'm in the final section of the Swamp Palace, though. Oh, hey, the hookshot freezes the skeletons. That'll make killing them easier. Or, sorry, the Stalfos. Oh, but I can't hurt them after. <laughs> ah. 
keep trying to avoid the fireballs. Okay. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> All because I tried to pull the statue of the, the fat little statue guy. I know there's one, I think it's in the Iced Palace, actually. There's one of those that you actually have to pull the tongue to, like, open the door or make a chest appear. So I always, it's like checking a garbage can in Pokemon. It's like I instinctually always need to check uh, those statues. Okay. Let's try this way. And no, okay. <laughs> so much for that. Alright, um... Yeah, I don't know why I tried that one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to, yeah, push the... And of course, this guy's uh, alive again. That's right, I will dead him. Hey, full hearts again, awesome. Yep, let's open that first. Then... Go ahead and reopen this, and hopefully this will also open the door on the other side. Otherwise, I have no idea how to get it open. And yes, it did. Yeah, the hookshot makes fighting electrical enemies way easier. Ah, eh, screw it. <laughs> Just like, you know what? I don't actually have to kill him. There we go. Now I got the water down here drained. Now I can go explore. Now I am genuinely in the final part of the dungeon. Because it's just a few more rooms and then the boss. Who's actually one of my favorite bosses in the Dark World to fight. Because it's a very hookshot-centric hook fight. And I love me some hookshot. Alright, one of these gets pushed. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely needed that. Alright. I think... Yeah, there's another room next to it. I was going to say, I think there's a room hidden behind one of these waterfalls. It's one of the far ones, I'm pretty sure. Ah, yep, yeah, there we go. Ugh. Okay, good. I was able to avoid them. I was kind of like, am I going to get electrocuted as soon as I go up the steps? Because I prefer not to lose life right before I'm going to be fighting the boss. I like to have every advantage available to me when uh, combating one of the evil bosses. <laughs> Alright, there's a key. Oh, really? Ugh, fine. Ugh. Yeah. There was no way I was getting out of that without taking the hit, unfortunately. Because it won't let me attack them from up here because they're slightly lower than me. Oh, yeah, see, there's the boss room. It's in the next one over. Well, hey, I got my heart back. Hopefully I can get past the rest of the way without pulling... Uh, I wasn't pulling any more aggro. Uh, make a, give him a wide berth. Open the door. And it's boss time, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I have no idea what this boss's name is. I am complete. I know this. I'm just blanking on it. Uh, yeah, this one is pretty simple. Oh, what is his name? It's like Argus or something like that. I'm not sure. I always call him like Eyeball Dude. <laughs> Which is probably not his official Nintendo name. Ah, dang it. Quit moving. Ugh, getting that last one is always a pain. Alright, and now I just need to hit him when he bounces off the walls. Ooh, let's try to do some uh, spin attacks to make this a little more fancy. Because they do more damage, I think. Ah! Oh, good lord. Maybe I shouldn't try to make this fancy. Maybe I should just beat him, but I'm so close. Ah, I can do it. There we go. Alright. Go Link.
All right, that's two Dark World dungeons down. The Swamp Palace has been cleared. Well, let's unlock this poor young girl and hear what she has to tell us. <clears throat> Dork, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Oh, right, I had to hit press the button. <laughs> the Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil King of Darkness. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. I fight my way out of here. Our next destination is the Skull Woods, which is north of Kakariko Village. Basically, ah, a jerk stole my arrow. Oh my god, they, they, you know, he can keep the arrow. Those bomb guys were being real annoying. Basically making my way to the Lost Woods, where I got the Master Sword. Let's see if I can repair, or replenish rather. Yes, let's see if I can repair some of these broken hearts. <laughs> replenish a few of the hearts I lost. I am not having any luck here. Ah, a few more rupees, but eh. I have 785, I think I'm going to rupees. Bumped into that dude. Using bombs is the best way to defeat the one-eyed giants. If they would stand still. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, fairies. That works out. Actually, I do need to replace one. So, yeah, that's awesome. Ah, there we go. I will have to remember this place for when I uh, inevitably need fairies in the future. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too much longer before I can get the fourth bottle as well. I was say, pretty sure I need to clear the fourth dungeon before I can do that. So yeah, I kind of figure after I beat the fourth dungeon, because the fourth dungeon you get the, was it the Titan's Mitt, which is the stronger version of the Power Glove. Uh, oh, actually, as long as I'm right here, I am going to go grab the flute. Enjoyed playing the flute in the original world. There was a small grove. I buried my flute there with some flower seeds. Will you try to find it for me? And he will give me his shovel. Yep, basically the flute is buried in the upper left corner of the light version of this grove. And that is the flute kid. A little bit of a... Um, oh, what's the word? Uh, Mirage. There we go. Ah, there we go. I knew it was up there somewhere. Alright, and there's the flute. Now fly, or teleport rather. Yes, it will fly back to the dark world. Actually, the flute is what allows me to fly. Ah, oh, poor guy. I always feel bad for him. Luckily, when I save the world and claim the Triforce, I can undo the damage that was done to him. For now, I will continue getting the crystals. Also probably stop off in Kakariko and get the... Uh... Oh, hey! Actually... <laughs> I can get distracted by things. Ah, oh, shooting gallery, I can do this. Alright, yeah, I got this.
Ah, there we go. Look at it. Right on the money. Oh, that one was very close, but not quite. Oh, that one should have hit. Ah, sure. I started out with 787, so let's see if I can um, get make my money back here. Ah, that one was bad. I knew right as soon as I pressed the button, I'm like, that one ain't gonna hit. Oh, that one was close. That one just barely almost got blocked. Oh, there we go. Hey, I'm back up to where I started. Ah, I still want to see if I can make a profit here. Oh, that one was close. All right. Oh, I was just a smidge too early on that one. I could still make a profit if I hit this last arrow. Oh, I missed. Ah, screw it. I only lost four four rupees. It's fine. Uh, as I was going to say, there's a black rock up there. And I don't think there's a way for me to get up there. So I think I have to go back to the light world and teleport from there. Basically, there's a portal north of Kakariko. Yeah, see, I can't uh, pick that up until I have the Titan Mitt, so I will just teleport back here. Uh, as I was saying before, oh god, ah, and a bee. <laughs> All right, yeah, they, uh, the red guards are out in force now. They, I teleported to the Dark World, so the villains are now stronger. Ah, should just him with the hook shot. Oh well, it's fine. Uh, as I was saying before, after I beat the fourth dungeon, I will probably take a uh, little bit of a tour around Hyrule and uh, gather some of the items I will need to kind of go out of my way for, like the Quake Medallion and stuff like that. Stuff that I'll need for the end of the journey, but I haven't gotten a chance to get yet. Because usually you need the Titan's Mitt, uh, as long as I'm here, we activate the, the flying, the bird flute, etc. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't work in the dark world, it only works in the light world, but it does make it a lot easier to get around. As you'll see here, I have eight different spots I could choose from. But actually, where I am right now is where I want to be, so... I'll just stay there. Alright, now I gotta try to remember where that portal is. Oh, hey, I can do this finally. Okay, well, that's just fairies. Ah, and a heart piece. Awesome. So it's still worth coming in. And hey, I found another fairy fountain I can remember to get later. This one is a light world one, so it might be a little easier to get to. I remember the portal is between Kakariko ah, and the Lost Woods. So it's somewhere down over here. I think it's a little further to the left, but I'm just going to go in here and see if I can make my way there from inside the Lost Woods. Huh. He tried to be snacky, but I said no.
I haven't really been in this area of the Lost Woods yet. Alright, not this spot. I think maybe down there to the left. So let's make my way in that direction. Oh hey, I can just go right through there. Awesome. Aw. I didn't even see that. It's a stupid bomb. Boo. Ah, oh, couldn't even give me a heart. Ah! Oh, you jerk. Stole a bunch of my crap. Oh, yeah, and I think, yeah, there's a left and a right path. I think the right one is the one I want. Now, did I come the right way? Okay, awesome, I did. Yeah, so as you can see, the bottom of the area is blocked by a black rock. I would not have been able to get through uh, from below. I actually did go the right way, so that worked out. All right, now we are in the Skull Woods. Which means, yay, we get to do that one annoying maze one that I was telling you guys about before. That's split up between different areas in the overworld and the dungeon. Uh, hell, I don't even know where to start, so I pretty much just gotta find a spot. Find the first area I can enter the dungeon and just start from there. I think that the holes are actually entrances to the dungeon, but I'm gonna avoid those in the meantime. Alright, well, hey, I found the, uh, I believe the fire rod is the, yeah, because you get the fire rod to help you fight, uh, is it Mothula, I believe? Ah! I hate bumpers. Alright, that'll be handy. All right. Now I just gotta think about this for a moment. Yeah, sorry about that. Thought I heard a noise outside the door, so I wanted to go check real quick. <laughs> it turns out it was nothing. It's just that time of year. Phantom noises. Alright, I can't go any further here. I believe I have to go to the little uh, bush patch just above where I am and go through the door. Yep, there we go. I say, just like in the light world. There's a, I think that let me do a heart in the light world. Ooh, if I could get another heart back, that'd be fantastic. Yay. Also, I'm just going to strand this guy just because, because I think that's funny. I always check behind these things for hidden doors, because every once in a while they hide something back there. All right, I'm pretty sure this is just... Uh, okay, well, I can't do anything from that angle. Pop that open. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just to get to the chest with the fire rod in it, which I cannot uh, access yet, of course. And, oh, why did I take that other pot? Crap, all right. Yeah, I'm supposed to leave that pot there so I can hook shot back. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Alright, yeah, so I can't obviously do anything there yet. Okay, so... Ah, you jerk. I hate these electrocutable things. <laughs> well, I'm the electrocutable one, as it turns out. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll start looking around for another... Cause yeah, there ain't really a whole, whole lot more I can do in that section right now. Ah, there's another entrance. Ugh, these guys are going to be a lot easier to deal with once I have the fire rod, because I could just, I'm pretty sure they just get one shot if you light them on fire. Ah, crap, wall masters. Well, this just complicated things. 
Ow! Hey, I'll just kill the wall master. There we go. I don't know if that actually makes them stop attacking you or not. Apparently not. Well, I've killed a second one. Let's see if that does it. Don't really know why I'm trying to push that. I know what I need to do. I need to pull the statue on top of it. But I'm going to look in other rooms first. Before I kind of trap myself in that direction. Um, I honestly don't know how to get over there. Huh. Yeah, no clue. Alright, now I'm going to have to push him down a little bit, or pull him down, rather. Got it. No. Oh, I have to be able to get behind it. Uh, I'm not quite lined up. I don't know if that'll... Ah, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, alright, yeah, it works out. Okay, so he can come... Nobody else can touch me when I'm in the doorway, but he sure can. That's good to know. Oh no! Crap. So, that thing negates the Moon Pearl and will turn me into a bunny if it hits me, but only for a few moments. But I cannot attack or do anything while I'm a bunny. Very important to get that uh, one ruby. <laughs> Alright, so hey, I got the big key. That one I actually did on purpose so I could get back out of the dungeon because now that I have the big key, I'm gonna go get the fire rod. Yeah, so you have to get the fire rod before you get to the final... Ah, you jerk. Before you get to the final part of the dungeon. So, oh, lovely. He was just there for me, waiting. That's not annoying at all. Uh, yeah, so before you get to the final part of the dungeon, you need the fire rod because you actually need the fire rod to burn access into the opening of the final part of the dungeon and fight the boss. Oh my goodness. I'm having so much difficulty right now. There we go. There's the fire rod. Oh, so I started to say before, and I got distracted by things happening. Once I had the fourth dungeon complete, um, oh, maybe I did finish that thought. Just basically say I'm gonna, yeah, no, I did finish that thought, never mind. Is that I'm gonna, I just assume that I don't finish these thoughts because I get distracted so often. But yeah, basically going to... Take a quick little tour around, grab things. The reason why it popped in my head is one of the things I'm going to grab is the ability to half the amount of magic used so that you basically double your magic bar. There's also a quartering of the magic bar, but I don't exactly remember where that one is. I know where the half one is for sure, so we'll definitely get that one for sure. I might find the other one... Uh, just venturing around, we'll see. It is very important to me to grab all of these pots. Uh, which way am I going? Oh, either way, I haven't uh, gone to either of those rooms yet, so... Oh, hey, the hookshot stuns those guys. That's handy. Still bounce when I hit them, unfortunately. Oh, hey, one spin move takes them out. That's cool. Um. Okay. Yes, there's nothing in... Well, no. I was going to say, well, maybe there's something, like a key or something in those pots. But no, there was nothing in there. Okay. That was definitely not a waste of time at all. 
Oh, well now I'm locked in here, so with a bunch of Gibdos. Those are the mummies. Ah! Oh, good lord. Oh, that worked out. No! Aw, oh, man. Ugh, it's more annoying than... Oh, good lord. It's more annoying than anything, but... Ugh. Well, at least the pot's refilled, so... I can get a couple more hearts here, which would be handy. Oh, of course, the one heart I get is the one that's right next to the glowing ball of death. That seems accurate. Ah, maybe I'll just leave those pots be. Let's try to do this a little more carefully this time. That was rad as heck, too, when I... Oh, yeah, I grabbed the chest right away, too. Uh, but yeah, that was rad as heck when I uh, hit that... The one wall master with the fire, like, off the rebound or whatever. That was really cool and completely accidental. I right, grab a few more pots, making sure I don't get caught by the wall master this time. And the irony is I just basically ended up back where I already was. But now I have a key. So uh, now i got to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. Yeah, I mean, I think I leave again. Yeah, so the boss is, the final chunk of the dungeon where the boss is, uh, is over by where the Master Sword was in uh, the Light World. Ooh, full magic. Thank you. Okay, I probably shouldn't waste it all on <laughs> those guys. Uh, yeah, like, I have a key. I still have no freaking idea how I'm supposed to get over there. Like, I don't think I can push these. I have no idea. Hmm. No, I mean, it looks like it's just an extra room. But hopefully there's nothing in there I actually need. I mean, I already have the main item, so. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, here's the thing I gotta burn in order to gain access to the final section of the dungeon. But first, I'm gonna check these. And there's nothing in any of them. A fantastic waste of time. There we go. I like making sure I don't leave it on the fire rod, just so I'm not uh, accidentally hitting the button and wasting like a quarter of my magic bar when I need it. Okay. Oh, yeah, this one's annoying. It's like a whole little like maze that you have to push your way through. It's weird. Yeah, that 
one's basically, it's like with the getting the monkey before the Dark Palace, is basically just moving around <laughs> blindly with the D-pad until you hit the area that you're trying to get to. Ah! Oh, no, I think that's just to get back out. I really wanted to kill that mummy before I turned into a rabbit. Okay. Well, I might not have actually even needed to go get this key because I have that one left over from that door I didn't open and hopefully won't need to open. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I'm going to be stuck, like, in Ganon's Tower at the end of the game, confused. And, ugh. I don't know why he hits me in that corner and not the other corner. There we go. Anyways, I'm going to be stuck at the very end of the game. And it's going to be like, oh yeah, that one room you didn't go into in the third dungeon is what screwed you. It's basically the story of my life. Alright, this is a hole. Wallmaster's not making it any easier. Not that I ever expected they would. Oh, gee, yeah, okay. That one I sort of panicked to get away from the Wallmaster. So it was better than getting caught. I will say that. Oh, these things are so annoying. The worst part is, yeah, like I had... I was right here, yeah. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, I'm out of magic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need to light these torches to proceed. It looks like I'm using the lantern because that takes up much less magic power. I will need to do the fire rod for the final one. Okay, unfortunately I'm now out of magic. Um, ah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that dude. My goodness. Uh, you know what, screw it. I have the key. I don't care. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so the fire rod is really good against the boss, which I'm about to go in and fight now. And I have, like, two shots maybe with it? Okay, one shot. Well, at least I hit him. Oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> Oh my god, alright. Alright, I'm not even sure if the arrow did anything, and I hit him dead center. Hey, uh, unfortunately, fairies do not restore your magic. That is the one downside. Alright, get as many hits as I can while I have iframes. There we go. Eh, that could have been a lot worse. It also could have been a lot better, don't get me wrong. But I will take it. Alright, that is three down. Let's see what this maiden has to say. Dork, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Do you know the prophecy of the Great Cataclysm? This is the way I heard it. If a person who has an evil heart gets the Triforce, a hero is destined to appear, and he alone must face the person who began the Great Cataclysm. If the evil one destroys the hero, nothing can save the world from his wicked reign. Only a person of the Knights of Hyrule, who protected the royalty of Hylia, can become the hero. 
You are of their bloodline, aren't you? Then you must rescue Zelda without fail. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, now I gotta try and figure out how to get out of this maze. Well, it was hard enough finding my destination. Now, exiting said destination may prove just as difficult. Eh, sure, let's go this way. I mean, I don't know what I expected. I knew it was going to take me back here. Ow. Yeah, for a split second I thought because I reset the pits in that room, that maybe the pits in the other room with the door I couldn't get into before might have reset as well, but that definitely did not happen, unfortunately. So yeah, I honestly have no idea how you're supposed to get over there. And that's a dead end. I'll go around these, because I'm pretty sure all the pits take you back into the dungeon, and I already beat it. I don't really want to go back. Alright, I need to get south here. Oh, good shot. I need to get down to the village, because that is where the next dungeon is. Oh, hey, fairy. Yeah, awesome. I can replace the one I <laughs> the one I just lost. Awesome. Quit bothering me. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. Alright, so this way works perfectly well. That's good to know. Now I'm in the village. Break those in case there's anything hiding. There was not. The village of outcasts. Um, let's go in the one with the treasure chest. Two chests for 30 rupees. Alright, yeah. Play my luck here, because one of them... Okay, that's a bomb. One of them has a piece of... Holy crap! That is amazing. <laughs> okay, I didn't even get to finish my thought before that happened. Literally was going to say, uh, one of them has a piece of heart in it, but... Oh yeah, that's the dungeon entrance, by the way. One of them has a piece of heart in it, but it's completely random as far as I know, so I probably won't get it. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. I literally I just picked two random chests. What are the odds? Oh hey, another chest. Okay, I had 800 plus rupees. I just got 300 more, so I am now maxed out on rupees. Uh that is okay. At this point, I really don't know what else to spend them on, so Alright, that little dude down there is the missing blacksmith, but he is surrounded by black rocks, so I will need the Titan's Mitt, or Titan's Grip, whatever it's called. Uh, actually, Titan's Grip, isn't that from World of Warcraft? <laughs> uh, anyways, that is what I need to pick up the black rocks, and I will get it in the fourth dungeon. Go ahead and rip that door off, and... Now we can begin. All right. Ah. Hey, there's the map. Yeah, this one is in a very large dungeon. There's a lot of areas that... Ooh, I narrowly missed that. There's a lot of areas that you can't really see. Oh no, it's the bunny thing. Run away. <laughs> I broke it. Hey, 20 rupees. Awesome. There's one thing I needed. It was rupees.
Now I think in like these four starting rooms here. Aha! I knew it! I knew you could break some of those with a charge. I wonder if it's just the ones that are circular, because like that one right here is just a crack and it hasn't worked before when I did it on those, so it must just be the ones that have like the circular crack in them. I'm not really sure what the point of this room is. Well, I mean, that point of that entrance anyways. Ah! Oh no! I'm so cute and defenseless. Alright, well there's a big key right there. A big keyhole, rather. Uh, I gotta try and find the big key. Which I don't think I can go any further. Which means, yeah, it has to be in like these first couple of rooms. I already found the map. Uh, I mean, it's gotta be somewhere here. Oh, there's another chest. I'm gonna grab these first. Because I was already up here. Also, I have to figure out how to get to the chest. Alright, big money, no whammy, and the compass. Alright. So yeah, I found the compass and the map. Just need the big key. Uh, I gotta try to remember. Alright, where... I've been in all four rooms. Uh, let me see here. Uh, what did I miss? Oh, hey, there's a chest. Oh, the door closed behind me. Uh, I gotta go all the way back around, don't I? Uh, fine. No, that was the one thing I missed was, I think, uh, going just cr uh, another bunny, bunny ball, <laughs> if you will. Ah, uh, yeah. I bet I'm going to wait for the snake to come back because I don't want to run into him. And big key. There we go. Yep. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any other chests. So, but yeah, there was no way to jump down to that one, unfortunately. Ooh, narrowly. Ow! Ah, dang it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm going to have to be careful. Those guys did a lot of damage. Alright, now I gotta get back actually that way. I can't... Oh no, of course. I was I can't even tell if I'm hitting him or not. And I wasn't, or at least did not hit him enough to defeat him because he hit me anyways. Uh, I'll just wait for that one. Alright, now we can move on to the rest of the dungeon. Oh, key. Uh, this is the boss room, but I have to actually find and activate the boss first. Which, it's a whole thing. Basically, there's a hint in the light world in Kakarko Village where they said there was like a thief named Blind, I think. Ah! Crap, hang on. One second. Alright. Good lord, I'm almost dead. I kind of got, kind of got caught there. Oh, my bad. Good, ah! Ugh, oh, I'm being careless. I'm trying to talk and play at the same time is the problem. Anyways, thief named Blind that hates light. Basically, you have to go up to the top. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that one just does magic damage, so that's fine. Uh, basically, you gotta go to the top floor of this place. You have to break open a hole in the floor that lets sunlight filter in into the boss room and then you find a thief I'm pretty sure on the bottom floor and they're like oh thank you for finding me please escort me out and then you bring her and I'm dead oh man I'm not the boss this is embarrassing ugh alright it's alright I'm alright oh good lord uh, just leave. I do not have the patience for this dungeon right now. 
Um, as I was saying, oh, rude, and I can't even get the heart. I really could use that. Uh, anyways, you bring the thief back to the bo Oh, God! Ah! Was not expecting that. Bring the thief back to the boss room with the light filtering down. Bring her inside the light. Okay, I guess I gotta... It's gotta be under the, uh, pot then. Ooh, okay, that was risky. I should just put a bomb or something down. Um, the thief is like, ah, I hate light, and turns into the boss, and then you defeat the boss and get the crystal, whatever. It's all fairly, uh, standard at that point. Uh, here's the spot where you have to, oh, good lord. Oh my god. I am struggling, y'all. <laughs> These things are killing me here. I really need that armor from the fifth dungeon. Luckily, it will not be too much longer before I go get it. Yeah, I'm afraid to make moves now because I literally have a half a heart left. Oh, yeah, I should have just done that from the beginning. Eh, whatever. It's alright. So I got two fairies. We're fine. I'm not worried. Oh, good lord. That's a little better. Yeah, I think I still need to activate that, though. Ow! What was I thinking? Oh my god, I've gone through two fairies and I'm not even at the boss yet. What is happening? Well, I told you all I was going to die in the dark world. I did not want to disappoint any of you, so. <sighs> I tell ya. And there's the path downstairs. Let's clear this out. I don't want to deal with them. The red ones are more dangerous because they actually shoot crap at you. Alright. I don't honestly know which way to go, so I'm just picking a route. Well, I don't have a key, so... That one's not an option. Uh, okay. Ooh, a heart. <laughs> so that room was just a trap, apparently. I don't remember that. And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I like how some of them respawn, but not all of them. I don't think the blue one respawned. I don't know. I'm kind of kind of zoning out at this point, <laughs> trying to beat this. I'm losing track of everything that I'm killing. Uh, yeah, let's range everything with the hookshot. Ah! Not what I was trying to do. That'll work, though. Ah, yes, here's the thief. <laughs> I'm going to save the thief as a bunny. And, of course, I can't open the chest. And there's the key. Yeah, we're already at the boss. 
Grab a couple more hearts, because I only have one fairy to survive this guy. Or girl, I honestly can't tell. It really looks like a girl. They're wearing a dress. I don't judge. <laughs> it's 2022. Yeah, too bright. And there we go. Okay. Fire rod does nothing. Okay. I'm only I'm just getting hit here. I'm trying to ranged fight him so I don't lose. Oh good, fireballs. I'm trying to keep all of the, um, I'm trying not to take damage if I don't have to. And in trying to not take damage unless I have to, I'm taking more damage. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright, just keep it together. I'm pretty sure I only gotta kill one more of them. That's alright, still got a fairy. At this point, I'm kind of just going, uh, going all in here. There we go. Alright, now I get to go replace all my fairies. Huh, another heart container, that's always, uh, welcome. Oh, the door didn't open. I like shooting an arrow out through the door when I pick up the crystal, but no door opened that time. Very disappointing. And yet, I believe I will survive. Dork, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the Dark World, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the Knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, and that's another dungeon down. Hang on. I never got the mitt. No, pull up the map. Yeah, there's a room I never went in. Oh, it's that one in the treadmill room, isn't it? With the... I didn't have the key, and then I got the... Oh, I got the key after I got the thief, and I never went back. <sighs> oh, my lord. Well, hopefully I won't need a fairy. <laughs> Because I don't have any. Good God Almighty. This dungeon. I am so over it. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's... Yeah, let's wait for the fire snake. Alright, now i got to try and remember how to get back down. Ow. Yes, yeah, he did two hearts of damage. Ow. This is another issue is <laughs> now I'm trying to not rush, but I'm trying to hurry a bit and I'm putting myself in danger. Alright, I gotta No, where am I good lord. Yeah, I mean maybe they'll have a couple hearts up here or something. No. Hey, can I take a shortcut? <laughs> can I just bomb this? No, I didn't think so. I was just like, hey, it would save a little bit of time. Alright. There we go. Now I can get that open. And then I'm pretty sure it is in the next room where I can go down. 
believe I forgot to get the actual the item. Good Lord Almighty. Uh, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Now I have the key. There it is. And there it is. Oh yeah, the Titan's mitt. Titan's grip is from World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's what I thought. And screw it, I'm using the mirror to leave. Because why not? Four crystals down. And I even remembered to go back and get the glove. I can't believe I forgot to grab it. Oh my gosh. I just completely beat it. It didn't even register until after I finished that I didn't grab it. So I got it now, as you can see. Uh, now, honestly, is actually a good time to go do some of the side stuff. Uh, clear up some stuff before we head to the fifth dungeon here. Uh, first things first is go grab this dude. So I can go unite the blacksmiths and get my level 3 sword because I can't get the golden sword later unless I have the tempered sword first. Right, come along buddy. Happy days are here again. You found my partner. Come back later and we will temper your sword. Well if you insist my good man. Temper my sword, please. Ten whole rupees. Yeah, I think I can afford that. And now I am swordless. Oh, right. <laughs> I literally went to attack the thing and... Yeah. <laughs> I went to attack the bush and have a sword. Uh, that's funny. Or don't have a sword, rather. Alright, let's hop down here, because I also remembered I never got the magic upgrade. Which I believe I mentioned previously, but it will greatly help in later dungeons. Blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. Now I will get my revenge on you. Er, is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. I need to stop hitting those before I finish reading them. Luckily, I basically already know what they're saying. So, it's fine. i go get my sword. Or not. Well, crap. Okay. Guess I'm going to go take care of the treasure chest and then come back for my sword. Oh good, there's lots of birds and a guard. Yeah, I should be fine. Ah, he's right here. I heard that you know I used to be a thief. We'll all open a chest for you. Will you please promise not to tell anyone? And now I have all four bottles. Oh, god dang it. Yeah, I forgot again about the sword. <laughs> I just went to attack and just... Oh my god. Let's go get my sword, please. Oy vey. Uh, yeah, let's go back to town. I tell ya. Nothing ever happens, but I always like checking. All right, level three sword. Awesome. That should greatly help with the last couple of dungeons. Like I said, I think I can get the upgrade after I clear Turtle Rock, the final upgrade. I think I can do it before I do the final tower. I don't think I have to wait till after that. We'll, we'll check later. I definitely know it's too early right now, so... 
All right. Right now, I'm going to go replenish my fairy supply. Because I definitely need them. <laughs> They're a bit unpredictable pattern-wise, which way they're going to fly. Sometimes you go to catch them and they just go right into you, <laughs> for lack of a better term. They're just like, no, I want to be used now. Very, uh, Veruca Salt about it. I think that's the right... The, the bratty kid from... Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I think that's right. Alright, I think that's all of them. Awesome. Alright. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Let's make my way out of here. Oh, lovely. I didn't even need to cut any of those. I was just doing it for fun and lost a heart because of it. How rude. Alright, now I'm going to head up Death Mountain. Sorry, I had a little bit of a yawn there. <laughs> One of these days I will remember the proper way to get through this without getting lost. Alright, heading back up Death Mountain because... Ow, jerk. That's alright, I can talk to the old dude and heal myself. Ha, owned. There is a medallion here that you need. I could not get the first time I was up here because you need the Master Sword to get it. It is also, as far as I know, the only other use in the game for the Book of Medora. There's, th no, there's two of them. I was going to say there's three of them. There's three medallions. One of them you don't need to read a plaque. It's just two of them. Because the third one you have to throw something into a fish man's puddle. Not really a puddle. He's like in a river. It's in the dark world. Honestly, probably just go get all three of the medallions right now. <laughs> Might as well. I gotta do them at some point. I mean, I'm pretty sure I need at least two of them to access some of the final dungeons in the game. I know for sure you need one for Turtle Rock. And... Trying to remember if you need one for Misery Meyer, I think so. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, pull out the book, hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of Ether. Alright, there's the first one. See, the other two are Quake and Bombos. I don't remember which one you get from the fish dude and which one you get from the second plaque. It's on the way to the desert, though. But you also need, I think, to get there from the Dark World? You'll see what I mean. I know where I'm going. It's hard to describe it.
Oh, dang it. Wouldn't try to do that. Ah! Oh my god, I hate these things so much. Ha! <laughs> Take that, jerk. Alright, is this a thing? I actually went a slightly different way uh, from getting the medallion first. Oh, uh, no, that's just... It kind of looks like you're supposed to do it there, right? No, there's a... I want to say I think that's a heart piece over here. Oh, uh, yeah, here it is. It's in this little area here. Uh, it's in the, that circle. Okay. Then why, why even have that little triangle area? with the other bushes. I have no idea. There we go. Okay, this is, yeah, this is, I would say, this isn't the medallion, this is a heart piece. There's a game up there to get another heart piece, but eh, it you have to dig and you have like 60 seconds and I think it's just random where the heart piece is and that, honestly, I'm not trying to get every single heart piece. So, I mean, that one sort of feels like a waste of time, honestly. I mean, at this point, I'm guaranteed another three hearts from Dungeon 5, 6, and 7. So I'll have 17 out of 20 hearts minimum going into the final, you know, dungeon and the final boss battle. I mean, that plus four fairies, I feel like that's enough, honestly, to beat the game. Plus I'll have the, the blue and then eventually the red armor. Alright, so you go in between where those goalposts are, or, well, signposts, whatever. Well, not really either. The, the posts. Read this. Just showing you guys that's what it looks like when you don't use the book. Okay, so this one's Bombos. Which means Quake comes from the dude in the uh, lake, river, whatever. It's probably a river. Uh, he's up in the Dark World equivalent of basically where Zora's domain is. Where we got the flippers. Actually, a little closer to where... The, um, oh, good lord. Yeah, I went to use the flute and forgot, oh yeah, that's right, I'm in the dark world. The flute doesn't work here. Uh. There's no point to any of that. I just wanted to destroy those. Alright, so yeah, I got two. Uh, we'll make our way up to, again, basically Zora's Domain. It, it's kind of closer to where we went into the waterfall and got the upgraded shield of Boomerang. It's like right outside of that, but in the Dark World. I don't think you can actually get to Zora's Domain in the Dark World. Like, I don't think there's any way to get that far up. I'm pretty sure it's just like a waterfall or rocks or something. Oh, we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really needed that five rupees. Good job. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to ignore that one. Yeah, I just figure some of this stuff, grab it now, and I don't have to worry about it later. Or possibly end up needing it, like, in one of the later dungeons and go, crap, I wish I would have grabbed that. Alright, so here's the circle. I just gotta throw something into it. And he will pop out. Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I'll give this to you if you go away. 
there's the third magic medallion. And having just got the one half magic buff as well, I feel like I'm going to be getting some use out of these fairly quickly. They are very good AoE moves that can clear entire rooms, for the most part. There's still some things that they can't kill. I mean, you know. That's any move, really. Okay, I'm going to get back over by the Sanctuary. I was like, I could just save and quit and start in the Sanctuary, but... Oh shoot, run away. Now, there's another item, now that I have the Titan's Mitt, there's another item in the graveyard that will also be helpful. Oh, good lord. Yeah, screw it. <laughs> it's better than better than taking the hit, honestly. I figured I gotta get over there to the light world anyways. Why not just go back to the light world? It's easier to make my way that way. Ah! Oh, come on! Rude. And here we go. And of course he still hit me. Okay, how do I get... Ah! Gotta remember how to open that. Oh, I think I did a running start. There we go. And this, I believe, is just the magic cape. Yep. Honestly, could have used that in the last boss battle. <laughs> but as it turns out, I didn't have the item to get in here until after I beat the boss. So, because I did it wrong. <laughs> uh, what is my life? <laughs> All right. Oh, also, as long as we're here, let's go back down to the sewer and get that stuff from the beginning. Okay, so apparently this seals back up. I swear that stayed open. I... You know what? Screw it. Let's go back into the castle and go get it. Why the heck not? So there's that room under the sewer that needed bombs to get in at the very beginning. And I was like, oh, we'll come back later. And then I completely forgot about it. Alright, when I pass through the gate, it will teleport me to the dark world. But I can just teleport back with the magic mirror. Alright, uh, let's head inside. Really? Well, I guess we can't get back into the sewer. <laughs> what the hell? Ugh, alright. I guess that's just something you have to do. I hope there wasn't a heart piece or something down there, because apparently I can't get back to it. Well, screw it. Ah! Rude. Oh, dang it! No, did not mean to do that. I did like a wide arc when I was swimming, uh, flapping my arms. Nope, not the way I'm trying to go. Okay, that fireball should have hit me, but I'm not going to complain that it didn't.
Alright, so that is the portal, but I want to see what's in here first. Pound of Happiness. Eh, sure. I think something happens if you throw a hundred in. Which means I'm going to have to do this a couple more times. There's nothing I can do except wait for it to refresh. I'm trying to remember what happens. I think it's like a bomb upgrade or something. It's been a while. Uh, yeah, here's a fairy. Oh, carry more bombs or arrows. Yeah, let's do arrows. Okay. Well, I don't really feel like, I mean, I have the rupees to do it, but I don't really feel like standing there and throwing them in 20 at a time, so I will remember this is there for later in case I need it. And for now, let's head into dungeon number five. Gotta get out the fire rod for these guys. I always pull these. Doesn't look right. <laughs> I always do. Right. Go ahead and use a... I love this thing so much. It is honestly my favorite item in the game. Oh, ice physics. How I loathe thee. Oh, dang it. I take care of the little jello guys and. Oh, alright, I guess I'm going down. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, hey, there's a good chance to use. Uh, yeah, let's do Bombos. Good chance to use some AoE. Boy, I'm glad I picked these up before this dungeon, because this is already paying dividends. I was honestly waiting for it to not work. Oh, hey, full magic refresh. That's handy. Alright, there's the compass. Now, let's go back to AoE. Let's do Quake this time. I like the other one and set them on fire. <laughs> oh, I hate these things. Actually, I should probably... At first I was gonna ah I was gonna go up. Oh. Alright, yeah, I can't do anything from there anyway, so that's fine. I was gonna say maybe I should see what the other door is first, but nope, that is just an area I will be coming back to later because I cannot access it right now. Ah, screw it. Eh, sure. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yes, I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of these, aren't I? Right, let's go ahead and... Ah, I keep getting caught in that corner randomly, which is weird. Oh, there's Stalfos in this room. You gotta hit him with the thing, the, so the, the thing. Hit him with the sword and then blow them up with the bomb. Or 
Or a pot, apparently, also works. I don't think that's anything, but I will still check. No, it is nothing. Oh, treadmills plus spikes. God, I'm getting flashbacks of Mothula. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, ah, yeah. Hey, I would like you to be a heart or something. Really didn't need that rupee, but it's fine. <laughs> Of course. I do not want I did not want to go back into this room. Ah My Lord. If I never see another treadmill room, it is will be too soon. Wow, yeah, I completely whiffed on like two out of three of those. I was a little early on the attack, unfortunately. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's go with Bombos. That was my favorite. <laughs> I'll blow them all up in the air. Yeah, I think Quake doesn't work if they're actually in the air. Bombos just seems to be the best one, but I think it also uses up more magic. But then when I get my magic completely refilled like that, it doesn't really matter. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't like that. <laughs> uh, Alright, go ahead and slowly make my way. I ah, thought maybe that was a push block or something. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. Ugh, fine, I'll wait again. Ice physics make doing things like going through doors and stairs very hard. <laughs> there we go. I thought there was a second one in this room. Oh, bombs. Awesome. Okay, I bet I bomb the that broken area on the floor above to get to the chest, but I don't have the big key at the moment anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, Alright, I already found the key. There we go. Oh, good lord. Okay. <laughs> I got this. Whew. Oh, boy. Okay, all right. That went way better than it had any business going. I got two keys. Very nice. And I'm going to be using one of them uh, very shortly. <laughs> oh, two birds with one stone on that one. Very nice. There's only one, so I can probably kill him with... Ah, yeah, that works. Two shots with the fire rod. Dang. Oh, there's another one. These things are weird. They're like... Ah, there we go. That worked. Yay, momentum. <laughs> They're like penguin sea creatures. Okay. I could really use a map right about now. Oh, alright. Yeah, it's back to that room, so that's fine. Hit that again, just in case that also opens up the door up here. Cause I honestly don't know. Better safe than sorry. Rather not have to come all the way back down through the fire bars again. Yeah.
Really? One heart? That's all I got? Oh, what the heck am I doing? Duh. <laughs> I'm literally, literally saying like this. Oh, good lord. Ah! That could have gone better. That's fine. And I don't feel like dealing with these guys. Uh, this one... I can actually use the cape and cross that without taking damage. I also could have used the hook shot, but using the cape was fun. Actually, let's go ahead and open the... since I have all those keys. Oh, okay, that's just back here again. Oh, but hey, I can go up now. Okay. Was not expecting that. Rude. Oh, good lord. Let's just... And, of course. I was going to say, let's just blow them up this time. Oh, there's some magic power. Oh, good lord. I'm to do this again. Oh, hey. Oh, oh what the hell? <laughs> Dude, did he seriously follow me from the other room? Uh, what the heck? That I've, that's never hap that has never happened before. I do not think one of those spawns in that room. Alright, let's hit from this side this time and... Okay, there's nothing in here apparently. I thought there'd be like a key up top or something. That like you had to go in and get. Apparently not. Well, that's annoying. Why? Uh, yeah, burn these jerks this time. I'm getting annoyed now. <laughs> oh, hey, that's worth noting. Yeah, Bombos is a little stronger because it uh, killed them, whereas Ether just made them turn into the little uh, versions of themselves. That is honestly good to know. Oh, hey. I completely missed that before. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's nothing. Never mind. Oh, good lord. Okay, I was not expecting him. And bunny thing. <sighs> it was cute at first, now it's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, I kind of had a feeling there was another one. That's why I waited to cross over. Okay, this is the one. There we go. Like I said, I knew one of them you pulled the tongue. Hey, the map, finally! Okay, and that one just reopens the same door. I can never tell if you're supposed to go up or down on those. Oh, hey, I'm back here finally. Awesome. Look at that. I made a round trip. And there's the big key. Awesome. Now I gotta try to remember where that where the big chest was. Uh-oh. Yep. Not playing around with the sea creature penguin people. I'm not even worry, worrying about these guys. Oops. Actually didn't mean to do that, but that works. Yeah, I will kill the guys in my way. I, I think that is fair.
And it looks like I'm going to have to beat these guys again, which is only slightly annoying. Meh. <laughs> Oh good, the treadmill room. Again. Ugh. Oh, please be the right setting so I don't have to come back in. Oh good. I almost hit it and I'm like, actually I think that's right, but... Oh, dang it. Oh, come on! Ah! Okay. And now I gotta wait again. Oh, what the heck? I was like a pixel in the way. That is ridiculous. There we go. That's kind of what I... Well, I was trying to hit all three of them the first time, but I accidentally killed one with a pot. So that's what I was trying to do the first time, though. Oh, uh, this crap again. I hope you guys like this animation because you are going to be seeing it a lot. <laughs> Yay, full magic. Awesome. Oh, is that right? I was gonna say yes for a second, and then I'm like, well, actually, no, I'm not sure. I think it is. Ah, yep, here we go. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, I hope we'll put that in the right spot. Ah, just, ah, screw it. Ah! I was gonna say screw it, just jump down. But then it kind of became personal. <laughs> there we go. Yay! You found the blue mail. The armor reduces damage you take. Awesome. Look at my pretty blue and blue and gold clothes. Eh. <laughs> I thought about fighting them and it's, it's like, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Oh, hi! You came out of nowhere. Oh, hey. Eight bombs. That's random number of bombs to drop. Oh, hey, I bet these are uh, fairy jars, just like in the first dungeon. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't think anybody will fault me for using Bombos in this instance. There's a lot. Ah! Okay, Bombos does not work on Stalfos. Good to know. At least not the big ones. Go ahead and grab that heart. And another... Good lord. <sighs> Rude. <laughs> Alright, I think I have to go up and push a block down from above. Because it was that room with the hole that had... Uh, it was blocked off with the blue and orange blocks, but it had two... Uh, blocks on each side, and I gotta push one of those down. But first, I could use a fairy. I sure hope this is where that takes me. Yay! Luckily, I have not died yet, so I don't need... Yeah, uh, emphasis on yet. <laughs> so I don't need to, um, you know, catch another fairy. But certainly getting my health all back is a welcome change. All right. And open that and go ahead and push this. Really? 
Oh my lord. Okay, apparently I can only push it one block and that's it. That, which means I need to do one of the other ones, which is annoying. Because I can't get to the other side. I'm going to have to go all the way around, aren't I? Ugh. Well, this will be fun to figure out. Oh good, this room again. Let's see if I can be as smooth as I was the first time. Nope! <laughs> Son of a monkey. Alright. Yeah. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> Oi. I like checking under pots for hearts and stuff. Sometimes they respawn. Usually they don't, but you never know. Honestly, don't remember which way I'm supposed to go. I think left. Actually, yeah. I think if I go, I think I go down here because it was right after I got the, the blue tunic. There we go. Okay, hopefully that was the right one because this dude kind of shoved me into the pit. Oh good, I think that looks correct. Awesome, I'm getting the heck out of this room. <laughs> hey, yeah, actually I'm pretty sure this is the last room before the boss. I'm gonna clear the, I'll clear the uh, right side first here. Ah! Was not expecting that. But then I think under the block on the left side is a pit that drops me down to the boss room. Uh, there's one more tongue for me to pull. <laughs> and there's the pit. And it is boss time. Actually, I think I need the fire rod to... Melt him. Ah! Alright, that was the easy part. Don't think this will work, but it's worth a shot. Nope. Did not work at all. Actually, yeah, let's just uh, <laughs> cape up and uh, take him out. Cause you don't take damage when you're wearing the cape. Like I said, this would have helped a lot on the uh, blind fight. Alright, that is another dungeon down. And guys, I actually remembered to grab the item before I fought the boss this time. It's a miracle. <laughs> I tell ya. All right, Let's see what you got to say. Dork, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Pretty sure they say the same thing every time at the beginning. They say the Hylia people controlled mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore, either. 
Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate at the castle linking the worlds opens completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish, and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Hero, Triforce, yada yada yada. You've heard it already. <laughs> All right, just Misery Mire and Turtle Rock left. And then, of course, Ganon's Tower. And the grand tradition of me completing dungeons. Try to... Actually, you know what? I can just whistle out of here, man. I mean, actually, I can just go right to the desert. I was going to say a grand tradition of uh, trying to find my way back out, but yeah, screw it. Let's just, I mean, I grabbed all the extra stuff outside. I have like one more item up in Death Mountain, but I'm not going to bother going for that until I, you know, go to do Turtle Rock. Alright, that's the Ether Medallion, so as you can see, yeah, I cannot get into this dungeon without using Medallion, and Turtle Rock requires one as well. I know it's one of the other ones, but I don't remember which, <laughs> if it's Bombos or Quake. I think Quake, because I think you have to put the sword into the head of the turtle. But yeah, I mean, let's just jump right in and go right into Misery Mire here. I mean, we're, we're in the end game at this point, you guys. We got two more dungeons and the last one in the final boss. We're very close to the end of this game. Alright. These guys are actually a lot... I remember they annoyed me as... <laughs> ah, jerk. <laughs> those things still annoy me. Uh, the whiz robes, I was going to say, I remember those annoyed me uh, like heck when I was a little kid. And now it's like, oh yeah, no, they don't really move or anything. I just basically go where they're going to spawn and just kick their butts. Oh dear. Alright, um... Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's try that again. I think if I hook shot across the bridge. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. Ah, oh, there's the big chest. I definitely don't have the big key because it literally. Oh, okay, yeah. There's the... I can't get anything up here right now. So I just kind of wasted my time. But it wasn't a complete waste of time because now I know where the big chest is. I just need the key. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I don't really remember where anything is in this dungeon, so I'm going to basically just be uh, figuring it out as I go, which is always fun. Uh, two bombable spots here. And neither one does anything. Okay. Good to know. Uh, more whiz ah! ah! That was my bad. I wasn't paying close enough attention to the placement of that fireball shooter. And that's a big keyhole, so also can't do anything in there. Oh, I got the cape for this. I am very glad I remembered to go get that. And I have no key, so I can't go up that one either. And it's process of elimination. Every door I go in, into that I cannot progress is just one less door that I know I need to check. If that makes sense. Alright. Yep, glad I kept that on. 
Uh, let's try this one. Alright, I got... Now that open. Ah, yeah, let's just go through there since that opened. I was just saying, I got three choices there. Hey, a key. Awesome. See, we're already making progress, guys. Yeah, I think the item you get in this dungeon is... Oh, God, I want to say the Cane of Sumaria or Som Somaria, Sumaria, something like that. Uh, it's a red cane that lets you make blocks. And it is required for progression in the final dungeon. Yeah, like, a couple of these you can do out of order, but some of them you definitely have to do before others. Like, I don't think there's a way to beat uh, Argus in the Ice Palace without the Fire Rod. For ah! Oh my god, I hate those things so much. Yay, another key. Uh, yeah, I really want to kill this guy. <laughs> I 100% do not need to. I'm only going to get myself hurt. Nah, I got it, alright. Uh, we're slowly mapping out the dungeon. Which I have to because I have not found the actual map yet. Which, knowing my luck, and seemingly I've been getting it close to the end of the dungeon lately, so... I just slowly follow the glowing orb. Oh, hey, that'll knock those down. And another key. Awesome. So that'll... Uh, ah! Yeah, I kind of got pac man there. If you know, you know. If I would have had my cape out, I could have used it, but there is that couple of... And I'm a bunny again. <laughs> There's that couple second delay with the cape. You can't use it immediately after changing to it. You have to wait, like, a second or two. And sometimes if something's about to hit you, it's just not enough time. Oh, hey, well, yeah, those, are, those blue uh, blocks are down now, so... Now I can progress this way. See, we're slowly making it through. Alright, yeah, I have three keys right now. I wanted to check this key door since I have all these keys right now. <laughs> and I'm just going to bomb this room. I don't feel like dealing with it. Yay. <laughs> Back to three keys again. Don't know if I'll need to have... Uh, let's see if lighting all these opens the door. And great. Can I lantern? Nope. Oh, good lord. Hey, if one of you guys wants to give me some magic, I would appreciate it a lot. No, those things are only going to give me bombs. Hey, full magic. Awesome. There we go. Now that I have full magic, I'm going back into the other room. <laughs> I'm going to light these torches. I'm going to use the lantern this time so I don't blow all my magic immediately. Alright. And the compass. Ah, crap. Alright, now I gotta get back to where I just was. Eh, maybe I'll check up this way. 
never did go up here. Hey, there's that random eight bombs dropping again. <laughs> it's so ran such a random number. Oh, okay, I'm back here again. Yeah, I never did go right in here. Oh, wait, no, I did. Oh, this one down here, though, I did not take the lower route. Oh, my God, another one. Oh, my God, two of them, really? Ugh. I hate those things so much. Okay, well, this appears to be a dead end because I cannot go any further. That, I'm pretty sure, actually leads to the boss. Uh, Alright, we'll make our way back around here. up again. Ah, dang it! I wasn't watching them. I was waiting for the cape to come off cooldown. Ugh, annoying. Alright, now we'll go back through here. Nothing to note in that, really. What? Why? What is the point of that? Other than to show me, hey, there's a chest. And you can't have it. Uh, I tell ya. Alright, well at least this time I know to go down. I don't have to go up. I really needed that compass, you guys. But now, I can finally go up. Yeah, I'm not bothering with them. Oh, right on the edge of a pit. Um. Hmm. I feel like I have to light those, but I gotta figure out how. Oh, actually, yeah, this will this should work. Assuming they'll let me push the. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, no worries. Alright, nothing happened. Ah, oh, there's still a couple of these guys spawning. Maybe that's... Huh. Oh, there's more of them. Then that could be it. Are they going to count if they're in two separate rooms? Well, let's find out. Oh, well, something's happening. It, it ain't in here, but something's happening. <laughs> ah, this is just taking a while, isn't it? There we go. I... Oh, well, something happened in here. You must set fire to four torches to open the way forward. Well, I did that. Not really sure what else. Do I gotta do it again? Do I gotta do it once that room is open? I don't think that did anything. There's nothing else up here. Maybe. Maybe the pit? Yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. Alright, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll be honest, that was a complete swing in the dark. Because it's like, it was just kind of, the way it was just kind of sitting there, it's like, uh, there's something about that. Oh, big key. But, we'll come back for that. Because, unlike in Gargoyle's Domain, I am not going to go for, I'm not going to go forget the item. I just gotta remember how to get back there first. <laughs> nope, not that way. That is... Alright. Yeah, no, I don't... Yeah, no, this isn't right. I was trying to see if I had to go all the way down or not, but... Actually, this I'm just checking because... I have not gone this way yet, and there's a door to open. Oh, hey, here's this other chest. And the map, awesome. Like I said, right at the end as usual. Well, almost at the end. Oh, it's up here. Oh, that's just... Oh, I was actually just there. I could have actually gone down, and I wouldn't have been trapped. I would have saved time. Look at that. So I did sort of go the right way anyways. I did not trust my own instinct, as usual. Alright, charge across again, and now I can grab the cane. Okay, it's so Mario. I knew it was, it was a U or an O. Not going to get much use out of it in this dungeon. Mostly, I just need it for Turtle Rock. I think I can destroy the blocks it makes. Yes, yeah, see, I had a little bit of a wait on that one. I couldn't do it immediately. And right, now I gotta try to remember where that other door was. Uh, I think you can destroy the red blocks you make with the... No, I think that's right. I'm getting turned around here. And go... Ah! Go left. Yep, there we go. Hey, and I got my heart back. Awesome. I'm just going to kill the rest of these guys just because. As I keep trying to say, the cane of Sumaria, you create red blocks with it, and I believe you can also destroy the blocks if you use the cane on them again and shoot little fireballs in a couple directions, but... Oh, good lord. <laughs> Anything over here? Just a pot. Oh, hey, full magic. That's always helpful. Make our way down. Oh, good. Dark. I love darkness. Try to expertly... Oh, actually... Nope, yeah, I need something to stand on that. Looks like I'm going to get a chance to use it after all. Look at that. Huh, I was wrong. I did need it to... Pro uh, pro bleh, can't talk. Uh, I did need it to progress. I tried to say progress and proceed at the same time, and my brain made, just made the purr sound and didn't know what to add after it, so it just froze. Like an old computer. <laughs> it happens. Uh, there's a room on... That room on the right out there is by itself. I should probably check it just to make sure there isn't anything in there I need for later. I don't want to get screwed. Oh, yeah, I definitely needed all those rupees. Oh, hey, I maxed out again. <laughs> that didn't take long. Alright, let's... Oh, no. Ah! There we go. Oh, good lord! It glitched me into it after I got it in position, and then shoved it as it glitched me through it. That was annoying. These are just all going to be in the dark, aren't they? You know, actually, I bet I could have made a block with the cane and blocked that thing, no pun intended. Ooh. Maybe this one will explode? 
Oh, <laughs> I thought I had to have it ride the treadmill and then blow up. But no, I guess if I get close enough to the wall, it'll just... Yeah, there we go. Oh my god, more rupees. Really? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> okay... Throw a bomb over. Actually, I probably could have done the the Canis Maria thing and created a fireball too. Eh, the bomb worked. It's I don't really care as long as it worked. Oh, I bet this is in the rupee room. Uh, but it's the other side, because it looked like it had a color-changing orb in there. Yep, there it is. Because that is visible even in the dark. Alright, make my way through here. Hey, I can see again. Oh no, boogers. <laughs> Seriously, they, they look like boogers. What the hell? Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure what color it's supposed to be, so I guess we'll try that one. And that is a no, and I'm being chased. So, no, I had it right the first time. I should have left it. I hit it once, and then I second-guessed myself and hit it again. Realizing now that it probably wouldn't have been there if it was fine where it was when you needed to get into the room. Ah, dang it. Uh, I had the idea of putting the cape on, and it didn't come off cooldown in time. And everything in that little area hit me. Ah, uh, we're at the boss room, at least. Alright. This is Vitreous. I looked it up ahead of time. <laughs> okay, I guess just sit here and wail on the uh, little... Ah, good lord. Okay, that hurt. Uh, sit here and wail on the eyes and not get electrocuted. Good god. Alright, the four that are completely submerged, I think, don't come out. And, yep, here he comes. Come on, you got this. Ow, he bounced. I timed that poorly. Ah, uh, almost beat this dungeon without losing a single life. Uh, yeah, it's hard to time the bounces when he's on top of you. There we go. Look at all that eye goo in the room. Alright. And that is crystal number six. We only got one more, guys. And then it's time to storm the castle, as it were, and finish off Ganon once and for all. I am not looking forward to Turtle Rock. It is a B.I. you-know-what. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches. Thank you, blah, blah, blah. We've already heard that. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Agonim as his pawn, he drew us to the Dark World. After cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters. But Ganon didn't plan on your getting this far. Now, Princess Zelda is waiting for you inside of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. 
May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Only gotta hear that one more time. And just like the Red Rider rifle or crap, whatever that's called from the Christmas story, I've actually never seen a Christmas story, I put that eye out. Now it's time to move to Turtle Rock and save Princess Zelda. <laughs> Uh, but first, I do have some other things to do there. I also have to figure out the best way. I mean, honestly, yeah, I'd probably just fly there. Okay, so. On Death Mountain, there is the last item I'm missing. Probably won't ever even use it, to be honest, because it basically, I think, has the same ability as the Magic Cape. But it's a blue cane that basically puts a little... A little ma- ow, dang it. A little magical- I hate these things. Uh, oh dear. Oh, actually I can just go up and around. Alright. Uh, it puts a little magical shield around you. And I know it's up here on Death Mountain somewhere. The problem is, I don't remember where. <laughs> so, I don't, I don't even remember if it's in the light world or the dark world. I think it's the light world. And I know there's a bunch of caves over here. So, we're going to go on an adventure. How about that? We're just going to go wander, maybe find a heart piece or two. We'll see. Ah, I am... Oh, wait, screw this. <laughs> That's being annoying. Go ahead and blow these guys up. Don't need those rupees, but I will grab them anyways. Oh, see, so yeah, like, there's a chest, but I, I can't get it. So... I know there's some things like the ones above there, the shelves. I know you have to like go up top and then jump down. And I'll probably have to do that for a few of them. Yeah, I don't remember where I don't remember where it is. I will find it, I promise. It just might take a bit. But hey, you guys get extra video, so it could it could be worse. <laughs> We're getting close to the end. There's nothing wrong with extending our journey a little bit longer. I have no idea which one of these I'm supposed to jump down. Uh, let's try this one. It's kind of off to the side. Oh, hey, fairies. Actually, yeah, I need some of those. So, yeah, come here. <laughs> oh, okay, I just needed the one. Well, hey, I can heal myself with the other one then. Awesome. So yeah, look at that. Found fairies and I wasn't even trying to. So I'm all set for Turtle Rock there, at least, which is good. Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, that just takes me basically above where I came in. I guess I'll try going down one of these. See if that's anything. Alright. Basically an express elevator down, and jumping from the inside of the cave instead of the outside of the cave, I guess. Yeah, you know, I kind of wanted to do all this, like, from memory or blind. Yeah, I wouldn't have the circle. I don't know why I charged it. Uh... But there, there are moments like this where I kind of go, you know, maybe I should have looked up a guide first. I'm not wasting everybody's time. Ah, eh, well, I need a heart. Why not? Go ahead and grab that. Oh. Okay. Can't do anything there. What's in this one? Okay. <laughs> Can't do anything there either. I assume these are all locations that you reach by jumping down pits in, like, the other area. God dang it, I just bought that heart. <laughs> you jerk. Oh my god, I hate the Tektites. They are so annoying. Ah, let's go in here. Well, there's another area to jump down over there. Oh, yep, gotta, gotta make my money back now. I don't have maxed out rupees. 
Oh, hey, that's a shortcut to the top. That's handy. I will not remember that that's there, but <laughs> that's handy. Well, hell, actually, that just gets me to Turtle Rock. Well, and it is possible that the... See, I think the cane is in the light world, but I don't remember for certain. And it might not be worth trying, or it might not hurt, rather. I mean, hey, maybe it won't be worth trying to find it in the dark world. Oh, no, that wasn't. All right, the first one jingled. Let's go ahead and hopefully that'll reset. Yep, there we go. Very nice of those posts to just pop back out when nobody's looking. There's got to be this one then. And there we go. And this will actually teleport me right on top of Turtle Rock. Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like you need the Quake Medallion for this one. So, hey, as long as I'm right up here, let's go ahead and open it. Woo-woo! Alright, let's make my way over this way. I know there's some Lynels hiding over here. Oh, there's also other caves for me to check. Oh yeah, there's a whole cave system in the Dark World too, look at that. There's the Lionels. Ah, let's just destroy him with this thing. Oh, damn. That didn't work. <laughs> Pardon my slip up there. I genuinely was just not... I genuinely was surprised that that didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, let's go down here. Okay, I know like this isn't it where the the cape the cane is at least because that is in Okay, let me grab some chests here. Oh goody. Oh god, this is gonna be all rupees, isn't it? <laughs> um no the cane it, oh good lord. Oh hey, there is a bomb thing up there, but I might not bother with it. We'll see. Of rubies I didn't need. Uh, yeah, so let's jump down. He says after after already jumping down. I might as well refresh my hearts again. Yeah, I sure could use those rupees now to replace the. Uh, yeah, probably might as well go in and get both. To replace the twenty rupees that. I like he's just opening all these chests, finding hundreds of rupees, and just like eh, and just throwing it like down the pit like I don't need it I have 999 that is more than enough oh hey I can fit in here is this anything apparently not well probably the way to exit that area I mean, yeah, there's no way I can get across that, so. Oh, I see. Um, I don't actually know which one to push. 
Yeah, actually, I don't think it matters which one I push. I'm going left. <laughs> oh, and then I just drop down. I see. Okay. Yeah, this is this setup is not a time waster at all. I'm just picking one of these because I have no idea. Oh, it's just back down here. Okay. Yeah, that is a this entire cave system here is just a tremendous waste of time. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. It's fine. See if I can find anything else down here. There's no cave there. There's no cave here. There is literally no cave anywhere down here. <laughs> and there's no bridge. Awesome. Okay. So they really only want you to go that one way. I could just use the mirror, honestly. I'm wondering if any of those other holes at the end of this whole thing uh, go to a different spot. I think it might at least be worth checking before I leave the area. Let's try this. And no. Okay. Complete waste of time. Oh, I'm back up here again. I don't think I'll be jumping down again. <laughs> no idea how to get to that little area uh, below me that... Ah! Oh no. Ooh, very perfect. <laughs> Alright, here's Ganon's Tower. Obviously can't open that yet, because I still need to save Princess Zelda. Uh, there's nothing else over here. I wonder if there's something up here by where I got Ether in the Light World. No, no, there is not. <laughs> Good to know. Um, I mean, I haven't checked this side yet. Anything in here? Oh, dude, this is it. Yes, awesome. Because you got to get across all the spikes, and then you get the magic cane at the end of it. Awesome. So it is in the dark world. I honestly could not remember. Very cool. It is eating away my magic, but that is okay. Really hope one of these is a magic jar. And it is all hearts. Dang it. Alright. There we go. Oh, the cane of Birna. Burna? I don't know. So, yeah. See, it just creates a little shield for you that's gonna run out very... Yeah, I already ran out. I would say it's gonna run out very quickly because I have no magic left. But hey, you guys got to see what it does. It basically, I think the only difference between that and the invisible, like the cape makes you invisible so you can go through things, but the cane, I believe the little magic swirly that surrounds you will do damage to anything you hit, if it can take damage. Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, all right. Hey, that's handy. Did not restore my magic, but that's okay. I will survive. All right. 
assume this is bridge is just gonna be broken on this side too. Yep. I don't think there's a way to activate that, so. I mean, basically at this point. Ah! <laughs> As I was trying to say before I got so rudely interrupted. <laughs> But at this point, I think I'm basically just good to do Turtle Rock. Now I just got to get back there, and then actually go do the dungeon. But hey, I filled up all of the items on the item screen. Check that out. That looks real cool. Very proud of myself. <laughs> Honestly, I'm still fairly happy that I found the cape because I genuinely forgot it was there. I knew it existed. I did not remember where it was. Oh, those guys are such a pain in the butt. Yeah, you really need the laser sword to get these guys. Uh, what's down here? I don't think I checked this one yet. Also, seeing if I can pick up any extra, you know, pieces of heart or anything before we finish, because hey, as many heart containers as I can use, especially in the last two dungeons plus final boss, could certainly be helpful. Okay. Oh, this room, the one where I had to use the bomb before because I was like, oh no, there's way too many things, die. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately now I'm down here again, so, yay. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can remember how to get back without having to go the long way around. Oh, hey! All right, found this on accident. Very cool. I mean, I didn't go this way before. I mean, I didn't know this is where this was going to lead me. Arrows and bombs. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, I ain't dealing with all that. I had just enough magic to actually go ahead and use Bombos one more time. Ah, no magic. That's a shame. Oh, can I get a bomb over that middle rock? I'm not sure. Well, that obviously wasn't going to hit. Oh, awesome, you can. Alright, fantastic. Rupees. Oh, good lord. Oh, come on, they can't all be rupees. Dude! Oh my god. Have maxed out yet again. There's a hundred rupees that just went to waste. <sighs> what is my life? <laughs> again, never find any of these rupees when I had like 200. But I never I haven't really the whole run, I have not really had any issue with needing rupees. So. Oh my god, I hate these things. Alright, I kind of wish I wrote down where that uh, shortcut back up top was, because I do not remember where it was now. This doesn't feel right. Don't think it matters which one I jump down. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, at this rate, I'm probably just going to go back up top and take the Tower of Hera portal and just do that whole mess again. Yeah. 
Yeah, I am lost. Actually, is this it? No. No, it is not. Alright. I'll blow these guys up. Actually, no. That's right. That's a dead end. I don't need to do that. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going back <laughs> the way I came. Alright, it's not only it's the way I came. You, you guys know what I mean. I'm just going back, going up the, the normal way. Pop in here and get the old dude to heal me, even though I only have a half a heart. <laughs> also, was kind of hopeful he might restore my magic. That did not happen. But I know you definitely need magic in Turtle Rock. So, I guess we'll see what happens here. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a magic drop before I... Of course, a rupee. That doesn't help me. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a magic drop before I head in there. Otherwise, I can always go to the Witch's Hut and get some potion. I'll make a quick little loop here, see if anybody drops some magic for me. And the answer is, of course, no. Obviously, they did not. I think I'm done wasting everybody's time. <laughs> Let's go do Turtle Rock. I'm definitely not stalling because I'm nervous about doing Turtle Rock because the final boss of that dungeon is very hard and Turtle Rock itself is a maze. I would never do that. Ooh, what's in here? <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a heart piece there, but I don't know how to get to it. I can try. I know, I know what I just got done saying. There's more fairies. Now I gotta find my way out of here, and I don't even know where I would let where I land. Ah, jerk. Not going back in there again. Honestly, you come to think of it, I don't actually know how to get that piece of heart. I have no idea. Still no magic. <laughs> That's fine. At least I don't need magic to use the magic mirror. That would suck. I wouldn't be shocked if they considered it during development, but I feel like that would risk trapping you, like, in the in the dark world in like a crappy spot where you need to use the mirror and I feel like they wouldn't do that. Really? I don't suppose I can sneak around. Oh, out of magic power. Alright. Yeah, that figures. I'll wait for this dork to get out of there. I say like, I'm supposed to be the dork on this run, not him. Oh my goodness. I hate these things. Yeah, like there was another piece of heart on that floating island out there. I have no idea how to get to that one either. Okay. Now I am done wasting everybody's time. I promise. <laughs> okay, now I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> also seeing if I can get any magic. Oh, one of these gives you rupees. Ah, yep, there we go. I learned that one as a kid. Yeah, there's nothing in any of these. <sighs> Alright. 
Let's just go do it and see how we do. Do you possess the medicine of magic? If not, I recommend against going any further. Oh, hey, there's my magic. It was inside the dungeon all along. See, I just need to go do the dungeon. So I don't have medicine of magic, but I'm going to say, you know what? Let's just go for it. I believe in us. I think we can do it. Oh, good lord. That's not a great start. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, actually, go ahead and grab that. Was not actually the way I was intending to go, but I'm going to check, I assume I'm going to have to check all these, so it's fine. Alright, compass. Never hurts to have. Ow. Oh, yeah. Alright, I remember this. Oh, yeah, I already have the, 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 the cane ready. Oh, come on! Rude. Come on, get over here. <sighs> not more magic. Alright. There's a key. I don't have a key, so not even going to bother with that. Basically, just going to check every open door and go through process of elimination. Crap, this is a tile room, isn't it? Yep. They started popping up before I could even finish that sentence. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to survive this one. I'm doing okay so far. Ow. I <laughs> stepped on uh, spikes. I feel like that's not the tile's fault. Well, maybe the tile's fault because I did it trying to get away from the tiles. Eh, see, it wasn't terrible. Could have been better, but also could have been way worse. Oh, yeah, I got my hearts back. I always got to try pulling on the tongues of these guys. Nothing there at all. Alright, so basically a fairy in full magic was all that was there. Does not seem like it was worth it, but eh. Okay, I remember this. Gotta remember, gotta figure out how to do this properly. You have to light them late enough that they won't burn out by the time you get back. Alright, let's see if I can line it up here. And boom! Alright. Oh, man, it didn't light up the ones that were off screen. Oh, that sucks. Really? And that opened the door, but that's definitely going to... Yeah, there we go. So it's definitely going to burn out before I get back, though. Well, that's annoying. Let's try this. And now the other one, the far one, burned out again. Um... Hmm. I'm going to let them burn out, and then I think I'm going to try going backwards. Because it seems like the backwards portion takes longer, so maybe I'm just looking at this the wrong way. Oh yeah, I should be able to line this up, I think. There's that one, and four. Alright, now come on. Let's get back to that door before it shuts. Bingo! There we go. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, this isn't too bad. Alright, map. Never hurts. I assume that's going to be oh, a little thing of magic. On a key. Alright. So I can finally go through... I think I have one more section to go through. Uh, but then I can finally... Oh, there's one more door in that big chamber. But, oh, now I can finally, uh, well, well, no, it just comes in here. Oh, there could be a key or something. 
Because I think there's just a little like balcony there, so I better check it just to be safe. But otherwise, yeah, I can go through that locked door now. Yep, need all the magic I can get. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's check this real quick. Oh, alright. Nope, just magic and arrows. Nothing terribly concerning. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's just the upper left now I gotta go to. Alright. That dude was only a tiny bit annoying. <laughs> I didn't take any damage, so I won't... Oh, good lord. Um... Okay, well, obviously I can't hurt them. Yeah, I'm gonna need something to... Set off. Okay, rude. <laughs> there we go. Ow. But also, hey, that worked. I wasn't even sure. That was just my first gut instinct was to see if I could push that. Alright, so yeah, we're making progress, guys. Okay. I know I have to go into these vacuum tube thingies. I don't know which order, so, like before, I'm just going to kind of <laughs> do them one at a time in you know, process of elimination. I probably am pretty sure I have to grab everything from each one. Yeah, see, like here, go in the nearest one and start there. Oh dear. Um, yeah. <laughs> if anything, just if for no other reason than I'm pretty sure the bunny beam is. Oh, hey, that blew up the bunny beam. I didn't know that happened. That's good. Oh God. Uh, how do I open that door? Oh, okay. Just have to be very quick. All right. Hey, big key. Awesome. Alright, so yeah, definitely had to do that little route. Oh, some more magic. And that brings me back here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill this dude real quick. I definitely need that red ruby. <laughs> go ahead and kill this dude real quick, if I can catch him. Because everyone I've killed so far has had a key. So, better safe than sorry. Hey, you jerk. Quit running away from me. Oh, just arrows. Alright, yeah. No, I was definitely not maxed out on arrows, so that was definitely worth it. <laughs> but if I wouldn't have killed him, he would have had a key. I mean, yes, realistically, I know that's not how that actually works, but... It's better safe than sorry, especially in this game. So yeah, I mean, just go do the other one and see what happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bomb time. <laughs> God, I love this ability so much. Ooh, a heart. And of course, grab these, because you never know, they might be um, keys, because that does happen on occasion. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically guessing on all of these. <laughs> I don't really know. Ugh. Okay, that looks a little spicy. Ow. Oh, yeah, yeah, screw that. <laughs> I was going to bring over the rest of the bots, but, yeah, they don't want me to, so I'm not going to. Oh, hey, big key, awesome. Oh, well, big chest, rather. All right, the mirror shield. Now I'm looking like royalty. Well, that must mean that the red male, then, is in... Okay, I've been to every room, so 
well, every room in this little cluster. So yeah, I guess just go through the big key. Uh, the red mail must be in Ganon's Tower then, because the only one I think there's, a, I don't actually know off the top of my head if that one has an item, but yeah, I guess we'll find out. If it doesn't, then I guess I'm not getting it, because I don't remember where else it would be. Oh, hey, awesome. Yeah, I thought these looked a little different than normal. Uh, ugh, all right, yeah. Just gonna have to take the hit there. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, let's go through here. <laughs> Since that's the side I ended up on, let's use the key. Oh, yay, more darkness. Oh, good lord. Okay, let's follow this. And it's blocked. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, I assume that there's a switch or something then. Ugh, yeah. Some of these I'm just going to end up taking the hits. Which is annoying. Ooh, just barely avoided that one. Um, oof, yeah. Well, there's something in that middle platform. That might be something. I'm just kind of trying to hit all the areas here that I can access and see. Yeah, no. I think, yeah, that middle platform with that. I bet, I, I bet that skull is... Yeah, here we go. I bet that's where the button is. Yep. <laughs> I'm just stuck in the run, the run pose. That's pretty great. Ooh, narrowly avoided that one. All right, let me see if I can luck my way into getting to the right spot here. Uh, ah, there we go. All right. Just going to run across that because I can see where that was going. And I don't have the key. <laughs> so, oh, God, I hope it wasn't in one of those rooms where... Ah! Okay, so, I mean, the mirror shield will block it when I go to grab the item, but how do I get back? Face it. Oh, good lord. Oh, my god. Well, here we go. <laughs> okay, so those things hurt really bad. I think it's like one of these is a key. It's got to be. Oh my lord. Yep, there it is. <sighs> Alright. Anything down here? Some fairies, maybe? That would be very helpful. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might have been able to put the cape on and gotten past them on the way back. Okay. Literally nothing. Lovely. <laughs> I have one heart. Ugh. Okay, could really use some life here. Or or bombs, I guess. Uh, Alright. Yeah, trying to trying to hit it and be a little lazy <laughs> without having to change the item.
and see if he's got anything for me. Oh, hey, a heart. That's handy. Arrows, another heart. I'll take it. I mean, this is basically has to be right before the boss. Okay. Full magic. Four hearts. No reserves. And just, what, three fairies? Yeah. Go ahead and crack my knuckles here. I got this. Okay. Nope, stop moving. Stop it. Okay, when I hit it. Oh, yeah, I, I hit it, and then I have to... I see, yeah. Ah, good lord. This is not good. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, so, let's not panic. This is not going stellar right now, but I'm not going to give up. All right, one head down. We got this. All right, wait for it to stop moving and then fire. And I think, yep, there we go. All right, those are down. I have one heart, but still a couple fairies. Now I just got to take this guy out. We got this, guys. He's arcing a little more than I thought he would. There we go. Awesome. I see, better not have another face. <laughs> All right, yeah, that icy, the, the ice head spit out was permanent, so I can only imagine how much worse that could have gotten if I wouldn't have finished him off sooner. Or, well, I mean, if I took longer to finish him off, rather. You guys get it. <laughs> Alright, that is all seven Dark World dungeons down. All that's left is Ganon's Tower and Ganon himself. We are nearly at the end of the game here, you guys. Alright, Zelda. I appreciate your coming so far to rescue me. As I thought, you are the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the Light World, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Let's return peace to the country without fail. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. Last time I had to say it, let's do this. Alright, all we got left now is Ganon's Tower, but before we do that, I am going to save and quit, because we're going back to the Pyramid, because we are going to go get the Golden Sword and the Silver Arrows. And I think that's all the upgrades that you can get from the Fairy and the Pyramid, but I will double check. I don't think you get the red clothes from her. I will still try it though. Because I honestly don't remember. <laughs> but yes. We gotta go back here. Oh, hey. A piece of heart there. I didn't even see that before. Look at that. I just literally just caught it, caught it in the corner of my eye. Alright, I did lose a whole bunch of my life, unfortunately, from saving and quitting. Ah, jerk. And actually, I was going to start and hunt for some hearts, then I remembered, there's a fairy over here, so I don't need to. I would grab that heart if I was not about to get a whole bunch of them. Alright, 
So we are going to head south from here, well, from the bridge over to the left, and then we're going to go to Link's house, or the equivalent of Link's house in the Dark World, and they should have the big bomb in stock. Ah, dang it. Well, so much for having full health. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Maybe one of these guys will have a heart. Oh, hey, awesome. I didn't actually expect to get one, given my luck in getting drops. All right, so we have to get the big bomb from here, if it's in stock, hoping it is. Awesome. It is 100 rupees, yeah. It didn't tell me the price, it just took the money out. I mean, I got the money, but still. Uh-oh. No, 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 ow! Uh, alright, let's grab another one. Alright, we'll not jump off the cliff this time with it, because I did not know that was going to happen. So yeah, it just follows you like the chest or the monkey, and you are basically, um, you know, you have to just take it, carry it to your destination. You don't get to just have it as an item, obviously. Alright, make my way over here. And there is the hole that the big bomb explodes. Line it up as well as I can. There we go. Okay, start with the arrows. Did you drop this? You are an honest person. I like you. I will give you something important. These are the silver arrows to give Ganon his last moment. You definitely need them. Plus, I think they're stronger too. So hey, I'm all I'm all for getting stronger upgrades. All right, now we'll throw the sword. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and grab the golden sword here. Alright, got the strongest sword now. And like I said, I think that's all you get from her, but I will try the clothes. Just because I don't remember if the red mail comes from her or if it's in Ganon. Well, I hope it's, if it doesn't come from her, I hope it's in Ganon's tower. Because I don't know where else it would be. Okay, no. Didn't come from her. So, that's fine. I mean, it's got to be Ganon's Tower, because it's literally, like, the only thing I need at this point. Uh, it's going to be the easiest way back here. Oh. Yeah, if you're wondering what I'm doing, by the way... I realized I do need to replenish my fairies, especially before going into Ganon's Tower. So, I'm going to go do that real quick because I did not think about that. There was actually the little cache of fairies directly to the north of, uh, you know, the bomb shop. Yeah, here we go. I feel like it's probably the easiest one to get to. Right, and I need to replenish three, so yes. Eh, there we go. And there's two. And there's three. There we go. We are full up on fairies. And I'll nab her because I don't want her to be lonely. <laughs> Just spear her through the chest with my hook shot. I'm sure that it's so, so she could heal me. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Huh, actually, there's one here too. 
Oh, it's literally the exact same fairy fountain, just in the light world. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed that cluster there, and I was like, oh, hey, maybe a piece of heart or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we'll just head up to the mountain and make our way back again. Definitely the people who uh, watched the Turtle Rock section of this run uh, know this whole thing. Why am I talking to him? I don't know why. Yeah, he said that, like, his granddaughter was one of the ones taken by Ganon, but then he, now that I have saved her and she is, you know, with me, he doesn't change his dialogue or anything. Alright, so I'm thinking the easiest way is just going to be to go back up this path, uh, take the portal in front of the Tower of Hera, port back. Basically the same way I got to Turtle Rock last time. Go all the way over to where Turtle Rock is, use that portal of the Dark World, and then from there make my way over to Ganon's Tower. Alright, there's the Tower of Hera. We will be seeing your Dark World brother very shortly. Oh, his new sword is nice. I still honestly have no idea if there's any way to kill these things or not. But I could at least get them out of the way. Alright, into the dark world. Now, let's make our way over to Ganon's Tower. So we can finish off this run in style. Oh dear, there we go. I was say, I kind of hit a point there where I couldn't hurt him. Alright, and Dork, we are going to break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. Alright, in we go. Now, I do not remember, okay, seven floors in the basement, so eight floors. I do not remember where I'm supposed to go here, so we are going to wing it. This is going to be fun. All right, we're immediately starting off with treasure chests. Bombs and arrows. Go and pull this. That was a mistake. <laughs> Oh, Alright, yeah, I got the Cane of Samaria for this. There we go. And, oh good, it's Bunny, Bunny plus Tiles and Wallmasters. Awesome. Yeah, this room's gonna suck. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. Yeah, I may just go invisible and uh, just hide things for a bit. Yeah, I don't want to waste all my magic in case I need it. Ah, I can one-shot the wall masters now, that's nice. Alright, got a key. Go ahead and go through here. Oh dear. Oh, hey, full magic. Awesome. Uh, 
is just a room of annoying. Oh, good lord. I should have just bombed this place when I had the chance. <laughs> Oh, jeez, I barely got out of there without getting hit again. Um, yeah, so I think I, I think there's a bunch of these I have to light. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, yeah, I don't think I got them in time. Eh, I'll just go through here. It's fine. Okay, oh, there we go. There's got to be a way to get to these. <laughs> Fortunately, also dodging a fire bar and wall masters the whole time. See, unfortunately, the thing I'm worried about is I don't know if... Yeah, I might have screwed that up. I'll go back out and go back in. Okay, didn't reset. Never mind. Uh, as I was trying to say, uh, I do not know if there's like a key or something in one of those, so I might need to go ahead and figure out how to get to those. Or they just said, oh good lord, they decided to make it really annoying for nothing, which is also very possible. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Okay. Ah! How come you can go through there and I can't? That's BS. That's cheating, is what that is. Okay. Alright, let's try that again. Well, that won't blow up so fast. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Am I just not throwing it fast enough? Ah, there we go. Oh, I still need to do it one more time. Ooh, okay, I was gonna say, I hope I hit that, because I you know, don't have any other bombs right now. I have one bomb now. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Rupees, arrows, compass, and pits. Alright, there's a key. I may have screwed this up though. <laughs> I don't think I was supposed to jump over at that point. Oh, yeah, no, this is when I should have went and gotten it. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, I was trying to hit the blue guy with the hook shot and hooked onto the pot instead. Ow. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Ugh. Good lord. That wasn't fun. Hmm. Ah. Okay, how do I get to it? Oh, there we go. That works. I feel like there's probably a better way to do that, but it worked for what I needed it for. Yeah, 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was if he was gonna go right on top of me or not. All right. I remember as a kid using ether to be able to see. May not be the best way to do it, but it does help. Plus, it freezes these guys, which is always a bonus. And I got the magic. Might as well use it. Oh dear. Every time I do that, I'm afraid I'm going to get knocked off. Okay. Ooh. Ah, well, that would have been way easier, honestly. Okay, so there is a basement below me. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of these will end up being probably a path down. Oh, there we go. I'll check the other two just in case. Nope. Alright, down we go. Oh, hey, Armos Knights. Alright. Yeah, I think you have to refight all three of the starting bosses in the game again. Ooh, very nice. Silver Arrows one shot these guys. Ooh, that one barely missed him. Alright, yeah, that wasn't bad, even with ice physics. Ooh, that one's a circle, so yep, I should be able to charge it. Still full up on fairies, but I will definitely restore my health. I wish fairies restored magic, too. That might be a little too OP. Now, there's a big chest, but I do not have the big key. There's a small key. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could find the map soon. It'd probably be easier to figure out where I still need to go. Oh, yep, I see. Yeah, I think I only need to do one on each side. There we go. Oh dear. Honestly, if one of these could be the map, that would be fantastic. Or the big key, I'd be fine with that too. Well, I did need more bombs and arrows. Okay. Didn't really need more arrows, but that's fine. Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, well I have two keys, so I'll go ahead and use one here. Ah, jerk. There's the map. Alright, cool. That will, ah, help greatly. Ah, okay. So that's why those are positioned all weird like that. There we go. Oh, I see. I have to put it far enough away so it hits one, but not both of them. Ah, perfect. And there's another key. Yeah, I'm not hurting for key. Ooh. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. 
Yeah, actually, screw it. I'll just put the cape on. I also cannot use the portal when I have the cape, so that's interesting. I was just about to say, I'm going to be careful. I'm almost out of magic. Oh, neat. Honestly, kind of found that on accident, but that works out. It was just kind of by itself, so I pushed on it out of instinct. Okay. Have to figure out which ones of these I'm supposed to take. Ah, there we go. Try to position myself so I do not get flung off the edge when I attack them. Because I still get bounced back. Oh, hey. Alright. Been in that room before. Cleared that room before. I've been in this room before, too, actually. Okay, well, I can't do anything at the moment because I have no magic. And I'm back here again. Oops. Oh, hey, there's a room I've not gone to yet. Oh, no, there's the room I started in. Alright, so I've been in that room, yeah. Alright, so... The room north of me I haven't been to. There's two rooms I've not been in. But, I'm not sure how to get to those. See if I can get back to where I was. Huh. Yeah, I'm already feeling kind of lost here. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Make sure I'm actually over that so I didn't waste the bomb for nothing. Because I still need another one in here, too. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, it wasn't so bad without the cape. Yeah, like, nothing's dropping anything. All those bombs I got in chests and stuff, I could sure use them now. Uh, see, there's a whole crack in the wall here that I missed the first time, but now I'm out of bombs, so... Yes, there is the, one of the few rooms I've not been to is right there, but I can't get to it because I'm out of bombs. I also thought maybe Bombos might work, probably not, but I'm also out of magic power, so... Yeah, not doing too hot here at the moment, guys. On the plus side, it's not like I'm recording this for everybody to see how dumb I am. <laughs> 
<sighs> now I'm just a little turned around and lacking in resources at the moment. I just can't do anything without bombs right now. I can't progress there. And I'll be honest, I sort of forgot how to get back down to the basement because there's a room down there I haven't gone through either. Uh, still no magic. Oh, hey, there's a tiny bit of magic. That's that's good. Actually, I had an idea. Oh, a bomb. Awesome. Alright, so I can't get back that way. so many times now. I'm gonna say now that I have now that I have a bomb I can go open that one door and see what's down there. And no I can't actually because I forgot I need bombs to progress past this section. Well crap. I don't think there's any way to hit that. Without using a bomb. fine if I wouldn't have had to use that extra bomb before. Because I missed that one. I would have had enough to open that door and we wouldn't be going through any of this right now. What am I doing? Good lord. There we go. I'm getting a bit frustrated and now it's <laughs> kind of <laughs> affecting. Well, I mean, I can always go up. I feel like I'm not going to be able to progress very far, but... This thing wasn't here, it'd be a lot less annoying. Oh, good lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, you can definitely tell I'm starting to get a little <laughs> done with this place. It's just a giant maze. I know that's the point. It's like the final dungeon in the game, but it's still annoying. I say a speedrunner, I am not. I also am not in possession of the big key. So yeah, I cannot progress any further, question mark? So it's gotta be downstairs. In one of those rooms I didn't go into. 
Because, yeah, I can't go up any higher. And there's one room in the basement, two rooms on the first floor that I haven't explored. At least one of them I can't get into because of a lack of bombs. Hmm. something I missed. I'm sure people watching this who know what I missed are screaming at the screen right now. And believe me, I if you are, I wish I could hear you because it probably would help me greatly and save time. And see if I can get a couple extra bombs and nothing's dropping. Oh my god, this freaking snake. taking all the damage here. Hey, full magic. That's handy. There we go. Now I can unlock all of them. Alright, so yeah, no key or anything. At least now I know. Uh, yeah, I can try to go down again here. an idea. I don't know if that's the way I want to go yet. Also, I'm looking at this. I cannot progress without using the single bomb that I have. I guess I'll go ahead and use it. Got very lucky on that one. Um, on the, the, the idea, kind of the nuclear, nuclear option, I can pronounce words. <laughs> I could leave the tower, go to the island where the ice palace is, but in the light world, and there's that fairy that you can buy upgrades for. I got the arrow upgrade last time, but she also offered bomb upgrades, and... Maybe I need that to progress. Oh dear Lord Almighty. Oh my god, why didn't I use the cape? I panicked. Alright. Uh, this is getting annoying. <laughs> I am very done with this place. Thank you, iframes. Oh yeah, this room again. Also, I am unfortunately out of bombs again, so that's annoying. This thing is so stupid. Oh, hey, that works. Oh, that's way easier. Well, there you go. That's probably how I was supposed to do it the first time. And I fell in the pit. I'm trying to get him to not bounce in the pit, because I'm hoping he'll drop bombs or something. And he dropped nothing. Awesome. Oh my god. Probably could use that heart. Oh well. Uh... 
arrows. That doesn't really help me, unfortunately. screen I oh my god I'm trying to hurry so it doesn't run out of time but also actually not making sure I get it before I start moving towards it yeah that's way better than using ether <laughs> uh, okay so I finally remember how to get back downstairs and I don't have any bombs. And nothing is giving me bombs. Although I did just remember something. Motherfucker. That would have helped me so much earlier. I'm so sorry for swearing. <laughs> but I, that is where I am right now in terms of uh, frustration. Okay. Screw it. Let's go get bomb upgrades. Because as things stand right now, I am not having any success here. We can always come back. It's okay. Luckily, we do have most of uh, the bottom floors already done, so it will save time going back. I feel like most of the uh, Ganon's tower is just the crap, de or dealing with the crap uh, on the bottom two floors. Okay, let's go do this again. I got the rubies, may as well use them. Oh, cool! I can do 50 at a time now, awesome. I was, I was afraid it was going to be 20 at a time, and this was going to take, like, a half an hour. <laughs> but I need the bombs, so... Okay. Honestly, I'm already here. Might as well just go ahead and upgrade everything. Sorry, I'm not being very talkative right now. There's not a whole lot to say at the moment. <laughs> I 
On the plus side, I don't think I need to worry about ever running out of bombs again. Alright, so I can do two more upgrades after this. No, I meant it. I'm using up all my rupees. <laughs> if I would have done this earlier, then all of those extra rupees in Death Mountain I found wouldn't have gone to waste. Yeah, so far I'm going to have good luck today, bad luck today, every kind of luck in between. Kind of basically feels how my life is in general. <laughs> what kind of luck am I going to have today? All the answers. <laughs> Almost done, guys. Uh, yeah, I'll do extra arrows. I feel like 40 bombs probably good enough. I have uh, increased the amount of bombs I had by, what, 75%? <laughs> I don't know how percentages work. The amount of bombs I had before was one quarter of what I have now. But that's not really how percentages work. You know what? I'm not a math wizard. I'm not worrying about it. <laughs> you guys know what I meant. Oh my god. No, oh, hey, yeah, I actually need rupees now, so I can be like, hey, there's actually a reason to get them. Alright. I'll go do this little trek one more time. On the plus side, the big chest inside Ganon's tower, that's got to be the red mail. Because I genuinely cannot think of anything else that would be in there. Yeah, I need to replace a fairy that actually would be perfect for... <laughs> and I can't get to it because these stupid rock things. Oh my god, I hate them so much. Let's see if I can reset the fairy here. Maybe trap these guys. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I mean, I needed a heal, sure, but... Not what I was trying to do. Yay, there we go. I very nearly accidentally caught that one again. Hey, we're stocked back up on arrows again. Awesome. Er, not arrows, fairies. <laughs> Pharaohs. Because <laughs> technically I am also stocked up on uh, arrows again, so it wasn't completely false. Okay, plenty of bombs now. Let's go get this thing done, once and for all. Hey, I even get my health back before I go in. I was just going to say, yeah, provided that guy doesn't hit me. Oh good, he dropped a fairy. So <laughs> that was lucky. Okay, adios mio. One more time. Let's do this. Let's do this again.
I always open up the menu looking for... Oh, where am I going? Oh my god. As I was trying to say, I always open up the menu looking for... Um... The map. Uh, why not? Mm, shoot, no, that's not right. No, yeah, now they drop bombs. Oh, everything's dropping bombs now. Yay, full magic. Awesome. I'm just clearing these guys out first before I try to get these. This is another room that hopefully this will be the last time I have to come in here because it's kind of annoying. I was also just about to say, well, I've got it down at least finally, and uh, do I? <laughs> Yay, magic. I didn't need the little one after grabbing the big one, but that's fine. Okay, I think that one was, yeah, a little late. Come on, just gotta position it just right. Hey, there we go. Alright, honestly, I thought that one was gonna be just a tad bit too far away. what I should have done last time. Much easier. Okay. Oh, come on. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to get back to... <sighs> no, I think I went the wrong way. I was trying to get back to where that bombable wall was, but I don't remember how to get there off the top of my head. I mean, this was the other area I have to go to, so... I may just go ahead and... Yeah, no. That <laughs> didn't work. It's fine. I may just go ahead and go down instead. There's two areas I have to check, so... I gotta imagine the big key's in one of them. Because I cannot progress any further going up. And I believe, yeah, one of them is down in the basement, and yep. Do you know how many times that would have come in handy if I would have remembered that? 
It literally just popped into my head. Oh good, I have to fight the Armos Knights again. Awesome. Well, it's not like they were hard the first time. There you go. Ugh, jerk. Oof. Okay, so yeah, I have to go up this time, not left. <laughs> That's where I screwed up last time. Oh my god. I hate ice physics so much. Ha! Finally! Awesome! The big key. Now I can finally progress. And, yeah, bombs and arrows. That would have completely solved my problem before. If only I would have had a single bomb that I could have gone down. Or just gone that way the first time. And I think the big chest is going to be right up here. Yep. Alright. Red mail? Red mail. There we go. Alright. Now we're in business. And, yeah, honestly, you know what? I got the big key. I got everything else. Screw that bombable room. I don't care. Let's progress. Let's get going here. I've wasted everybody's time more than enough at this rate. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know why I keep trying to do that. There we go. Oh good, I get to do this room again. That's going to be fun. Oh joy, yeah. This is going to be not annoying at all. <laughs> Well, that's one down. And there we go. Oh my god, these statues are so annoying. Yay. And even a heart. Awesome. Hey, alright. We can finally get, go past this, you guys. Hmm. Oh, those things. I thought they were the <laughs> red guys that shoot the fireballs at you, the ones I just destroyed in the other room. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. Really? There we go. Where did my block go? Let's try that again. Okay, well, disappeared that time, but the door stayed open. That's weird. Ah, it was worth a shot. <laughs> I had to try getting past this once for old time's sake. Remember the desert dungeon? Alright, there's a bombable wall there, but I, I don't know how to get there. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yep, not dealing with this. <laughs> oh, I do love this ability. Oh my god. 
One thing I will say is, at least in later Zelda games, you can destroy these things, which is very nice. Like Zelda 64 in particular. Yeah, I have just had it with this dungeon. I am just bombing every room I go into. <laughs> There's multiple things for me to attack. This one you can't really blame me, because there's ice physics. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I should have just bombed this room. <laughs> I know I should leave them be, but there might be, like, magic and stuff, and I could use that. Well, technically there was magic, so I guess I will take it. Alright, Moldorm time. Or, wait, no. Uh, Moldorm's the big worm. Uh, Lanmolas. These are the little ones. Oh, crap. Yeah, Moldorm's gonna be coming up, too. That's gonna be fun. Honestly, I don't really know why I'm trying to use the Ice Rod. <laughs> Maybe just to add a little bit of challenge to it, because I feel like my sword is probably stronger at this point. There we go. Alright, the added fireball being shot really kind of cranked up the difficulty of that one. Alright. That one was worth doing just to see where I was supposed to be going. There we go. Yeah, it was just run straight across. Oh, time for my favorite ability. I'm almost out of magic, actually. Hopefully there aren't too many more rooms I will need that for. <laughs> or I get a magic uh, refresh soon. Ugh. I don't have very much magic, too. I'm going to have to do this carefully. Ugh. Maybe one of these has a better, well, slightly better. There we go. And yeah, run through before it can seal itself. Oh my god, these eyes. Hey, full magic. Awesome. Oh my lord. Well, that didn't work. Okay, that, that could not have gone worse. <laughs> There we go, you just gotta know where to start. There we go. Much better. Alright. More bombs. Let me guess, arrows? Oh no, just more bombs. Okay. <laughs> where were these chests when I needed them? Oh, I see. Oh, good lord, it's this crap again. 
Okay. Oh my god. There we go. Ow. Yeah, again, I wish I would have remembered that a long time ago. It would have made my life a lot easier. It's fine. Ah, here's Moldarm. He's gonna turn invisible. <laughs> I still bounce back when I hit him, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, that wasn't hard at all. Very nice. Ah, there we go. I was saying, now I gotta figure out how to get over. Yay, 20 whole rupees. Though I feel like the point of that chest was less to give you something and more to have a method to get you over the pit. Oh no. Yeah, nope, not dealing with the Helmosaurs. Much better. Oh my god, trying to go through doors on ice is the most annoying thing. Ah, I think this is it. Time to go fight Aghanim. Yep, Aghanim round two. Ho ho ho, it's great that you could come all the way here, dork. <laughs> I'm very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom. Not actually sure if that hit him or not. Oh, that could have gone better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked out. I hit him with one of the residual bolts instead. Ah, oh, heck, you already done? All right. Well, back to the pyramid we go. Let's end this. Here comes the bat. Right through the top of the pyramid. And our journey is going to end right where it began in the dark world. But first, <laughs> let's go get healed and replenish our fairies and all that. Because, you know, better to go into the fight with the final boss of the game as prepared as possible. I definitely do not intend on doing this fight more than once, so let's get it right the first time. Oh, actually I'm good on fairies. Alright. That's right, I forgot. I did lose the one in Ganon's Tower, but I forgot about replacing it after going and getting the bomb and uh, arrow upgrades. I mean, I could use, yeah, like, full magic, but yeah, it's not like I can use Bombos or anything against him, so I got the arrows. Honestly, I may just go for it. Yeah, let's do it. 
I never imagined a boy like you could give me so much trouble. It's unbelievable that you defeated my alter ego, Aghanim the Dark Wizard, twice. But I will never give you the Triforce. I will destroy you and make my wish to conquer both light and dark worlds come true without delay. All right, big boy, let's do this. Ow. <laughs> That's right, I'm getting a bunch of hits on him, and he's only gotten one on me so far, so. Ooh, and with red mail, that took two hearts off. Imagine if I didn't have... Imagine if I was still in the green tunic, how much damage that would have done. Yeah. I'm just going to pop on the cape and just go ham on this dude. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> Alright, now he's going to start knocking the uh, sides off. Getting as many hits as I can during that. Ah, I got four fairies. It's fine. <laughs> Now, if you get knocked into the pit, you will fall into the pyramid and have to start the fight over. So, obviously, don't want that to happen. That is not ideal. You are doing well, lad. But can you break through this secret technique of darkness? And God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I forgot about this part. Oh, and I have no magic! Oh no! Oh guys, I think I screwed up. <laughs> oh no! I'm, I'm out of magic, I can't attack him unless the lamps are lit. Oh no! I wasn't ready, as it turns out. Oh, I gotta... I gotta drop. That sucks. Oh my god, no, I completely forgot. I'm like, I don't need magic. What do I need magic for? Yeah, I completely... When Ganon is stunned, give him his last moment with a silver arrow. Yeah, I know that. Oh my god, I got so close to beating him too. Because once you're at the point where you're stunning him with the arrows, he's basically beaten. You just have to do that a couple times and you're done. Oh my god, alright, I need some magic. And maybe some hearts, because I literally have one heart right now. Uh, okay. I might need to pop out to... Well, I'll go heal myself quick at this uh, fairy. And then, yeah, I might need to pop out to the light world and visit the witch's hut and get some, you know, medicine of magic or something. Oh my god, I feel so stupid. I can't believe I forgot about the part where you have to light the torches. I'm just like, yeah, I don't need any magic at all. I'll be fine. I can't use Bombos on him. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, we're almost done, guys. Don't worry. I promise. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, even the Avengers didn't beat Thanos the first time. So, yeah, God's freaking prophetic. Oh, I don't want to have to fight him again. Oh, my God. If I only knew. All right. It's all right. Alright. I'll survive. Ugh. Ay, Dios mio. Alright. Go and get some. I'm gonna have to actually yeah, drop one of my fairies, too. Well, three fairies should still be more than enough. I didn't even use one fairy the first time. Um, yeah, honestly, screw it. Get get extra. Yeah, I have the empty bottle now. Might as well. And I actually don't have enough rupees to buy the the blue one to restore both. So, all right, yeah. Burning all those rupees right at the very end there, uh, in the middle of Ganon's Tower, almost screwed me. 
but luckily I found enough extra to, well, I mean, I just would have, you know, grinded, gr ground? I just would have done some grinding and gotten a few rupees, so I had enough to buy the medicine. Okay, let's do this one more time. This is it, guys. This is the attempt. I can feel it in my bones. I'm excited. This is going to be the first Zelda game cleared on this channel. I actually started a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past run back in 2016 when I started the channel. It was like the second or third run I started to do, and I only made it to the Dark World, and then I just never got back to it. I was running that thing on the Wii U to give you an idea of how old. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading this stuff again. <laughs> I already read it once. I'm bad. You are going to be defeated, is basically the gist of it. Ooh, some expert parkour there. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. I'm a pro now. Yeah, I know exactly what to expect. Oh. Yep, <laughs> get the cape out. Probably not use it too much. I mean, I do have the extra medicine to be safe, but... That yeah, helped a little. Yeah, see, we're already at the part where he's destroying the floor, so... He doesn't do the lights out until the entire floor is destroyed, and... He can't do the silver arrow thing, as far as I know, until that point. Because, yeah, you, you have to freeze him with the sword and then shoot him with the arrow. Alright, Secret Technique of Darkness, blah blah blah. Let's go ahead and get ready here. Oof. There we go. Ugh, so close. The worst part is you can't. Oh my god, I almost got knocked off. That would have sucked. The worst part is you can't shoot the arrow uh, once it. Okay, you can. You can hit him. Never mind. But oh god, I need to be careful near that edge. Uh, the lights go out while you're trying to shoot the arrow, as you saw before. He, you know, just gets out of it and it doesn't do anything. It just bounces off of him. Yeah, see, he just disappears. Oh my god, those lights are killing me. Okay, very glad I grabbed the magic medicine. Although I will say I'm using more magic using the fire rod than if I had been using the lantern, so... Oh my god, if I would have... Oh, hang on, I think we beat him. I think that's it. Alright, awesome. As I was going to say, if I would have gotten this close to beating him and then had to leave again because I was out of magic, I would have been furious with myself. Especially knowing I was right there and didn't grab the extra magic. Alright, we did it. Game over. Welcome, dork. I am the essence of the Triforce. The Triforce will grant the wishes in the heart and mind of the person who touches it. This music is so peaceful. If a person with a good heart touches it, it will make his good wishes come true. If an evil-hearted person touches it, it grants his evil wishes. Apparently, uh, women aren't allowed to uh, claim the Triforce. <laughs> The stronger the wish, the more powerful the Triforce's expression of that wish. Ganon's wish was to conquer the world. That wish changed the Golden Land to the Dark World. Ganon was building up his power here so he could conquer the Light World and make his wish come completely true. But now, you have totally destroyed Ganon. His dark world will vanish. The Triforce is waiting for a new owner. 
its golden power is in your hands. Now, touch it with a wish in your heart. Alright, the return of the king, Hyrule Castle. So these are all of the things that he wished for by claiming the Triforce. Uh, and there's the maidens and the guards are back to normal too. The loyal sage, Sanctuary. So our good priest friend is back to life. And he finally threw that empty treasure chest out. <laughs> Sahasrahala's homecoming, Kakariko Town. I'm pretty sure they spelled Sahasrala's name wrong. <laughs> Whatever. Vultures rule the desert. Desert palace. I don't know why he would wish for that, but sure, why not? He just really disliked the jazz hands, guys. The bully makes a friend. Mountain tower. So I assume their wish, his wish for them was just that they'd get back to the light world. Your uncle recovers. Your house. <laughs> Yay. He's back to life. Flippers for sale. Zora's waterfall. Okay, like at this point, I think they're just going around and looking at anybody I've ever interacted with over the course of the game. The Witch and Assistant Magic Shop. Twin Lumberjacks Woodsman's Hut. They finally moved on to a new tree. Good for them. Flute Boy Plays Again Haunted Grove. Very happy to see him back to life. His fate was honestly probably the saddest of anybody's, except maybe the uncle. Venus, Queen of Fairies, wishing well. The Dwarven Swordsmiths, Smithery. <laughs> Of the bug catching kid, Kakariko Town. So I assume he got better. All that evil mountain air finally got out of his system. The lost old man, Death Mountain. So his granddaughter got saved, is down there hanging out at Hyrule Castle with the king. And the princess, and he's still just wandering up the mountain. Like Link, wish for the dude to get out of the mountains. Maybe, maybe he don't want to be in the mountains anymore. That's very rude, dude. Yeah, look at that weird, weird guy. <laughs> I don't even know what you call those. Though. They're not really ooze or anything. Oh, that was the thief, by the way. And the master sword sleeps again forever, but not really because lots of sequels. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to try to get into the Zelda timeline. That is a gigantic mess. So maybe there aren't any games set after Link to the Past. I don't know. Well, I mean, like, Link's Awakening is, but that also doesn't take place in Hyrule, so... Okay, yeah, that is it. That's The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. We beat the game. We didn't get every heart piece, but we cleared the vast majority, probably at least 80-85% of the game. I mean, that's... Yeah. I, I don't know what else there is to say, honestly. We did it. Honestly, I'm just going to kind of sit back and let the credits roll, and, you know, we, we all earned a nice little relaxing roll credits here. So, you know, for Dork Haven, I'm Blazing Wing. Thanks for joining me on this epic journey, and I hope to see you guys all on the next one. As always, game on. We'll see you next time.